Biggest shout out to our Patreons. We started this podcast when we were out of looking on the doll, and thanks to Patreon, we've been able to put the Northwest in the spotlight where it belongs. For as little as £3 a month, you get access to an extra episode every week, plus a live show, which we have some of the biggest comedians in the UK joining us for that live show <laughs> that we do and if every you're month, <laughs> monthly, with comedians from the UK live. <laughs> <laughs> on stage if you're a 10 pound patreon you get free tickets to the show every month as well <sighs> shake up on me lads <laughs> there we go there we go can I squeeze on them titties <laughs> lemon lemon, lemon. lemon. got a proper tough skin now. yeah it's a fucking lemon I have trading cards of old granny porn stars <laughs> Yeah, we've got loads of specials on the Patreon as well, everything from sports days. Genuinely think I've pulled the hamstring, but it'd be worth it when I win this trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepovers. Axe thrower. Oh! Puzzle rooms. Amy wrote me a set to do on stage, which was dead embarrassing. Have a look at these. I have wanked over my nan. The more you pledge, the more benefits you get, including early access, Q&A with guests, club cards, prints, discount on merch. Loads of stuff. If you love this podcast and want to support it, get extra content, help us thrive. Sign up today, patreon.com forward slash the mild high club. Just £3 a month. What's that? Nothing, is it? Go ahead. Sign up. Love you. Thank you for ages. A little yeah. reunion here. Really that is, yeah. Is oh. it pre, pre, pre-COVID? Think. Think so. Yeah, maybe about two years ago. Oh, lovely! Hi guys, oh, wow. hello, hello everyone. Sorry. Hello, welcome. We're back. We're here with uh, Josh Jones. Josh Jones. Hello everybody, and a uh, special guest in the corner, James Allen. Hello. Hey. Welcome. We're all here. You're just talking about people trying to get freebies to you to your tour shows. Oh yeah, well, um, <laughs> 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 but they they are friends who I would give freebies, but because they've asked today on the just day, and late, it's yeah. like, yeah, but it's mm. it's sold out, yeah. and they're yeah. like. Oh, can I stand at the back of my... I wish you would have just told me this, like, just say six last months week. ago or something, yeah, you yeah. want to come and yeah. I'll save you yeah. a ticket. So yeah. you're touring at the minute, or...? Yeah. How's and it then, going? Good. I'm yeah. enjoying it. It's it's nice. It's a lot nicer doing gigs for people who have come to see you on purpose. I yeah. imagine, and yeah. I love <laughs> club gigs, and, like, obviously I still do clubs, love it, but I like have it. There's loads of gays in, yeah. and I'm like, oh... God, this is it. My people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, because in the clubs, you'll spend like five minutes getting everyone on side yeah. and that in it, whereas... And it, but it's like, I still love the clubs. Like last night, I did um, one of Rob Riley's gigs and they're yeah. really nice gigs, yeah, but yeah. it was like 50 bald blokes. <laughs> and when I walk on, they're like, fucking yeah, hell. Yeah. So it takes a minute to be like, no, I'm like funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Decent to this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like but, you say, when people are just coming to see you, fans of you, you can sort of be like, hey. Yeah, it's nice. Like, chill. Much yeah. Minute, yeah. When's it ending? Um, so kind of today, but then I've got to do a couple more days. I've got to do like a three day run in February in London. Yeah. But then it's done. And have and you done? You done Edinburgh as well? Didn't yeah, you say? I did that. Right. And then so now I'm writing next year's show. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. And I'm more excited about that. You try and do an hour like every year or something, do you? Or? Well, this was the first one. Yeah. Because we couldn't do it because of 20... I was supposed to do it in 2020. Right. Mm. And then now this is... So I've had to wait. Yeah. So it's loads of stuff that I've had for ages, so I'm just, like, bored of it. So, like, now I'm, like, oh. Excited to yeah. do new stuff. Oh, that's yeah. good. That's boss. Cool. What's it called? Waste of Space. Waste of Space. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So What's the message? <laughs> there is none. Okay. Yeah. I, I like that. Yeah. I like when there's no just, message. It's just an hour of club, really. Lovely. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Are you putting it out on like online or? I don't know. I was speaking to my friend because I do a podcast with a guy called Morgan, Morgan Reese, and we was thinking okay. of maybe doing that. Us, we've been speaking about. It. I don't know. We'll see. It depends. <laughs> it's expensive. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Shout it out. Watch podcast. Um, chatting with cherubs. Chatting Chat with cherubs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Is there any theme to it, or you just? Is it nah, just it's just like two queer people talking yeah. about bumming. Really, sounds great. Yeah. Disgusting. It is, yeah. <laughs> it's great. Um, so you was telling me that you've tried marijuana. Well, I used Again. to smoke it at uni, but I've not smoked it for about eight years. Yeah. And then I stopped drinking about seven weeks ago, mm. and I thought I'm just having a break. Yeah. And I thought I can't do nothing. 
So then I smoked some weed the other day. Ooh. Yeah. It was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best reaction yeah. to weed yeah. ever. Yeah. So they go, going, oh, it was a bit, it's like, no, it was really fun. It was yeah, really was nice. fun. I only had a little bit and I had a little giggle and then my toes <laughs> bent a bit fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I went to bed and just had the best sleep. That's yeah. the best I've yeah. for weed ever, that, yeah. Yeah. I had a little giggle. My toes went fuzzy. <laughs> best sleep ever. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. But I stopped smoking it at uni because I smoked it a lot. Yeah. And then I was like... Sometimes it can get too much, like, especially when you're younger as well. You know, like your brain's sort of still developing and that in it and you yeah. all the time. And then you go, oh, this is making me... But it's like anything. If you have too much of anything, it'll, yeah. it's bad for you. Like I ruined it for myself when I was at uni because one day I was stoned and it was uni, so I was on a beanbag, obviously. <laughs> and I was like stoned on a beanbag and I wanted to get up, but I felt like I felt like my balls were weighing me down. <laughs> And then, and, balls. yeah, right, but you just my balls, balls are like normal Thinking size. It was the bean bag. <laughs> my balls are normal size, but in my brain at the time, it felt like the size of that rug. <laughs> like I just was like, why have I got? I felt like steel <laughs> balls. That's mad. And then it's I, like the complete yeah, opposite. And it, it was in my this. mind for ages. <laughs> And then every time I smoked weed after that, like I, I kept having a placebo effect. Yeah. Do you only know think about your toes? I just could flat. I was really like in tune with my balls. That happened to me. Yeah. Well, not with my balls, but like with the same. Th- it's all mental, isn't it? Like yeah. I always say, like oh, you can make you can make your mate have a whitey if you just convince them they're having a whitey. Yeah. And stuff like that. Like when I I had a little break from weed because one time I started getting like heart palpitations, and at the time I was drinking like. Eight coffees a day and like two monsters yeah, and, and that. Red Bull. Yeah, Red Bull. But it yeah, was yeah. the weed. But I, in my head, I thought it was the weed. So I had like weird heart palpitations, bit of like a panic. Like, didn't whitey, but it's just a bit of like, oh, whoa, this is, I feel weird. And then the next time I smoked it, I was like, oh, I hope that doesn't happen again. And then as my heart starts beating a bit faster because you're smoking, in my head, I was like, oh, it's happening again. Yeah. So then I was like, I can't smoke weed anymore because it gives me panic attacks. And really, a lot of it was just mental. When did you go back to it? Um, How big was yeah. your break? It was, quite, it was a, f- a few years, maybe. It was oh. a year or two. Well, because of Australia, wasn't it? Oh, no. When did you stop? Um, I stopped before we got together. and then, But then I started hitting that ale. Oh, he was, he was heavy on the ale. Because I was just, I think I've got an addict brain. Mm. So like, I stopped smoking something. weed, but I was yeah. like, fucking. Yeah, I've not there was a point for where weeks, and now I'm like, yeah. I need weed yeah. again. That was yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. So I was the other way. Like, I, I used to smoke all the time. I'm bevy as well, like, but. Maybe yeah. if you don't smoke weed and then you don't drink, that's yeah. how you become like a spree killer or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, I know there's a lot of concern with like weed and mushrooms or whatever making you go mad. But I think we've all gone mad anyway, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. But yeah. in a negative way. So why not just all go mad in a positive way? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do, you, do you do weed, James? I remember we were in the car share, Josh, and it was <laughs> me, you, and Harry Staccini. <laughs> do you remember it was in that rover room? Yes. But it was in, like, they were cooking while we were on. I do remember this. And, uh, they were cooking? Yeah, like, this. the chef got up. The chef, like, stopped to watch it, and he got up halfway through my set and walked off oh. and carried on cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Died on my ass. We were on the way back, and we were talking, because Harry... Oh, sorry. The, I don't know if you might be saying is it. I think Harry's seen like did a, some drug or has done drugs. Yeah, and right. you two were chatting about drugs. Not at the gig though. No, no, in the on the way, no, yeah, 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 yeah. home because I think he'd been to a festival or something. You're talking about like ease and stuff. And I was like, "All oh, right, like, what's it like?" And he went, "With all due respect to you, James, I don't think you have the frame <laughs> <laughs> or, state of, or state of mind to take drugs." <laughs> yeah. And, and I think that was good advice. <laughs> 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 uh, let's Un- talk about the last time you did weird. Uh, edibles. I think I had a. The last time I did edibles was at your birthday. My birthday. Yeah, that so was John, hilarious. I, f- I was sort of. I, w- I went against your advice. Oh do my ap- God. I do apologize. I've not seen um, you in a couple of years, and you've come in. Avril. He's a bad boy yeah, now. He's a bad boy. Yeah. I've, I've been <laughs> yeah. to Amsterdam. I've. Uh, These two girls are broken outside that. Day. <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> I do look like I'm dressed for a you look good. I, like I feel it. like the main character in like a Channel Five Christmas film. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you had the little edibles on my birthday, didn't you? Yeah, that nearly pushed you over the and edge. Only because you were mixing it with ale, though. Oh yeah, that's true. I was like, they're not kicked in yet. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just like melting down one of the, the in the jacaranda. Yeah, I was like, when, <laughs> when I was at uni, someone told me that it was MDMA, and mm. then after I took it, there was like it was cat. 
And oh. then I was like, it's not good, is it? And it was like watching everything around me and it was the worst thing that's oh, ever yeah. happened. It was awful. So that is that is that spiking? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. it was like yeah. fun when it was like yeah. a friend. Yeah. yeah. Like, I want dead. At least you, at least you were already like... It was only a key like, as well. Yeah, and you were already planning. I tried to at the takeover. It was just fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you were already <laughs> planning on taking a drug. Yeah. So it's but not I've as not bad. Do, I've not done a drug since uni for about nine years. Oh, really? Yeah. So no. you've not um you've not gigged on drugs at all? No, I've gigged drunk and, and so for the last couple of years I've like I don't have a drink before I go on. Yeah. Okay. Not even one. How much no. better does it make you? Well, it's more because when I've been heckled, I've, I've been like, and I've, I've, I've had a glass of wine. I'm like, all right, cunt. I'm going to you like, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just like, I just go too far. Yeah, yeah. probably yeah. like get over yeah. it. So you, I heard you say once that you used to do boxing. Is that yeah. true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. When cool. I was a teenager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that because like, you used to get loads of shit in school or did you just want to get into I, it? I got or? shit in school a bit, but then... <laughs> It kind of died off mm. after a little bit, but that wasn't because I did boxing. I think that was because I used to hang about with like the um, girls who the guys wanted to shag. Uh, okay. It's a very it's a survival technique <laughs> that loads of camp people <laughs> did. Yeah, um, and also I was um, I was quite mouth fit. Like mm. I could, like you know, rinse people and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little yeah. bit. Oh, okay, so it was fine. Yeah. Where's, where's your hometown? Manchester. Money. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So. Money on the map. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, I forgot. I forgot. I was going to ask something about drugs. Well, we talk drugs. about edibles. I I got offered in a so I was at a, a party the other week, mm. and this was before I smoked the weed again. And um, so because I, I was saying, oh, I'm not drinking on my non-alcoholic beers, and then a comedian, I won't say the name, but she was like, oh, do you want this gummy? And it was a proper cute, proper like, yeah. like an actual gummy bear. I was like, this is adorable. And then I went to <laughs> take it and then I got <laughs> super nervous. So I just put it in my coat and then I got home and then I realised oh, I've still got this gummy. And I was like, I'll take it, but I don't know when. So I got real scared. So I just put it in the fridge yeah. and then I had it in the fridge for ages, but then I got too scared and gave it to a friend. But <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, I have been saying I'm going to take an edible, yeah. but I want to take it. I, I, like, I don't want to be in public. Oh, okay. you want to be at home, yeah. yeah. I want to oh, be yeah. at home. I mean, we have them every day, and we're fine. <laughs> 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 do you do edibles every yeah. day? Yeah, well, every evening for bed. Like, that's how I relax. Yeah. Because my, my head's chocker, like proper chocker, don't stop. I think of everything all the time. Every possible. See, outcome. mine's like already quite empty. Okay. So I'm like, <laughs> if I start taking edibles, okay. I'll just be dead inside. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Maybe try mushrooms. Mushrooms. Are so I did good. use. I did mushrooms at uni. Okay. And acid. That was my okay. acid. Was wow. my, acid was my favorite Acid's drug great. at uni. Yeah. Yeah. And then I failed my first year of uni, <laughs> and then I had to get an extra year student loan. So I was like, I'm never going to do drugs again. So I've not done drugs because of that. Did you have any uh, any fun acid trips? No, I used to only take um, like bits. half a tab. Yeah, yeah, yeah a tab. So yeah, I was yeah. like, "What well, you talk about micro dosing?" Mm. I was yeah. like, "I would be quite chill." Yeah, but yeah. Um, I had like uni had a field um, where we the did you you went we did you know uni, did, yeah. did you stay Castle well? No, that got knocked down the year I. Or got closed the year I We get it. I'm older than so, you. So I, uh, <laughs> so I uh, but the one I, the old one that I stayed <laughs> in, had uh, a field on the back of it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, w- on where the houses were, the student accommodation. So we used to just take acid and lie on the field. And it was really Sounds nice because like it was a gated, it, it was student accommodation yeah. so it was gated yeah. so it yeah. felt really safe so that's why you failed yeah. your first year then but we <laughs> yeah. just laying in the field well we, the there was a football um football pitch as well and we used to get into all the different student accommodation houses yeah. and rob all the mops because all the mops was at the front door so we used to um take drugs and then play quidditch <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> it was great how many of you played quidditch what was loads the, of us really, what yeah. was the flying ball I think it was just a ball. Snitch. We <laughs> wasn't flying, but we had we just brushed, we just off our tits running about <laughs> with like brooms and mops. Uh, it was more fun just stealing other people's mops. Yeah, yeah. There yeah, is a yeah, there is like a proper Quidditch league, isn't oh, it? Yeah, yeah. Like a real is there? sport. Yeah. 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 No, they, they, all they do is just yeah. run around with it in between the legs. Yeah. So, like, but what is the ball? What are they? Chasing? I think it's a person. A yeah. person is the snitch <laughs> or whatever, and they run <laughs> after them, and it. Top, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you want to like grab them or whatever. It's just tag. 
Just tell yeah. everyone you're well, we, But you've got an old <laughs> yeah. uh, a stick, a tag stick with, in between with a, your legs. Yeah. Okay. Are you right. running around like a fucking knobhead with a broom in yeah. between your legs? I don't want to run around like But a to be fair, I did this on like. Yeah, being on acid's acid. fine. Yeah, He's yeah, doing yeah, it as yeah, a serious sport, though. Yeah, you can be excused for a lot of things when you're under the influence of acid or mushrooms. But I've not done it. I've not touched anything for nearly 10 years. Yeah. Is there a reason for that or are you just... I, do, I, just I, do, I did it and I was like, I think I did it a lot. You've done enough now. <laughs> and so you've got it out of your system. I, it was like, oh, did it and it was done by like 21. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, nice, safe, Yeah, yeah. Done. 21 was when I had my first alcoholic beverage because I'm allergic. I'm allergic to alcohol. All alcohol. All alcohol. Which so is why... She's in the weed game. I'll, yeah. I'll have one one drink will make me sick and my legs oh, wow. will go numb and I can't breathe properly. And it, yeah, it's really sad. It's dead yeah. sad. So that's why I'm a raving drug addict. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but I get that about like getting it all out of your system when you're younger and that. Like, yeah. I was the same with drinking, I think. Like, now I don't really like, not that I asked about going out and that. I like going to the pub or whatever, yeah. having a drink with mates or whatever, but. Going out on like big night out, I'm like, I want to go to bed, I, mate. I don't think it suits my personality, really. Yeah. Mm. No, I'm a nana, really. <laughs> and I don't think just like, because at like my spare time, I bake pies. <laughs> oh, really? like, yeah, so I don't want to be like. What's your favourite pie? I thought say that. Um, so I, I'll make whatever anyone wants. Sweet really. or savoury? Um, right, this is going to sound real judgmental. Savoury, because I think sweet is for little bitches. Yeah. And I, I just think, like... Little if, bitches. If you need sugar in your pie, you need to grow the fuck up. <laughs> but I... Um, so what would you, would, you ne- would you never order a pie for a dessert? Like, have you never had, like, a pecan? No, I've had, like, an apple pie, pie and that? stuff. Like, I've yeah. had it. It's not, like, a strict rule. I'll have <laughs> one just think occasionally. For little <laughs> but, like, I'd rather bake... And I have baked sweet pies yeah. for my friends who can't handle... <laughs> the real pies. Meat. Yeah, but I, uh, <laughs> I, um, but no, I'd rather bake safe. Right? Yeah. And when I was at uni, when we used to all smoke weed, we used to do, well, the first year, the year I failed, we'd do acid Sundays where we took acid, acid Sundays. Acid. Yeah, so, we, yeah. so we just <laughs> all did acid every Sunday. Ah, uh, well, and then when we was like, we should stop doing acid. We've all need to reset this year. <laughs> so then, yeah, probably. So then we used to do a thing called Pie Day. And uh, it's a lot more wholesome yeah, pie day. So it? I would bake a load of pies <laughs> for all my friends yeah. because they were all stoners. And yeah. I, I didn't smoke weed that much, but they smoked it every day. Mm. So because they were all stoners, I'd bake about about six different pies. Yeah. Mm. And then I'd be like, right, it's ready. And then all these stoners were like, oh my God, like, <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. And I used to just like get high off the compliments. <laughs> 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 it was like, that was my drug. <laughs> Um, I loved it. Uh, that's uh, hilarious. Yeah, you sound like a great friend to have in uni. Yeah, I was. I was yeah. clean. I was like, like mum. I'd yeah. clean up and that's all crazy. that sort of stuff. Would you ever go on Bake Off or anything? I'd, f- I'd, f- yeah. yeah. But if they did it, and because it, it, you've got to go when you do stuff like that. You know, you've got to go on and be a comedian and be mm. funny. But mm. I would. Too I'd, serious. I'd, I'd get, serious. I think if it was just Bake Off. I think I'd be like, fucking move. Yeah. <laughs> I would get, but also I don't bake cakes. Yeah, like yeah. I only do pies. Mm. So I don't know how far I'd Open get. Open for pie week. Yeah, 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 but I can't just be like, pies every time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was yeah, 20, we want to see it? tart. There's another meat pie. <laughs> 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 well, what, sorry. <laughs> I was 20 when I had my first pie. Yeah. What? Why? <laughs> you think it wasn't made with you? I'd never, I'd never had a pie. Until I was twenty. What else have you not? What asked? was your first pie? It was. Uh, it was. I don't know if you remember. There's a comedian called Sarah Keegan. She's absolutely lovely, yeah. and uh, she plays plays the accordion. She's lovely, and she. I was again. And I told her this, and then we gigged again, and she brought with her a pack of. Well, she's uh, from Wigan, isn't yeah. she? Yeah, yeah. She brought. She's probably nearly passed out when you. Told I was her at the pie. bucket, and she brought a sam a Tupperware box of. I think it was like shortbread or something like that. Yeah, she's brought these wiggers. Quite a few games. I know. A pork pie, and I had it and was like, that's amazing. Yeah. See, pork pies are weird ones to yeah, go with first, I think, isn't it? Well, I, I was um, recently dating a privately educated southerner, and I'm talking. <laughs> Who are you? Is know. this you not wanting to say Tory? <laughs> yeah. No, he's not a Tory. <laughs> he's he actually not? not. He's wow. not. But his dick was so good if he was, I wouldn't have But I. Um, <laughs> I've ne- obviously never dated anyone that posh. And mm. I'm talking, his parents had a house in Chelsea. They had a country house with a tennis court. Like, 
Proper. He was rich, yeah, rich, yeah. like Aww. grew up rich. And he'd never had like a Greg, so I bought him his first ever Greg. What did he think? Yeah, I thought it was all right. Yeah. <laughs> Sick <laughs> but, for days. But then yeah. that was one of the things I was like, I don't know if we... No. We, it was the novelty was nice. Yeah. yeah. But then, you know, him never having a Greg's just made me be like, we're too different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not for you, that. Can't put four well, you know, I can't believe you've yeah. never had a pie. I'm hooked now, though. Like the past five years. Yeah. There's been just. You gone pie mad? Or one way Slippery to slow. Pie <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you mean potatoes, your ham and leeks. <laughs> What's your, your favourite one now? Oh. Uh, probably a Greg's chicken bake. Oh yeah, yeah. I love a Greg's. It, chicken it's good because well, it's like the ball. It's got the ball and the ball's edible in it. You just eat it all. Yeah, Do you know yeah. what I mean? Well, if just you can, if there. you can bake your own pies, it's really good because you just make short crust pastry. Mm. Just bake that, and then like the the filling, you can go wild. It's just like a sandwich, really. You can put whatever you want. Did you ever yeah. used to experiment with different? Flavor yeah, pies with yeah, your stoner mates. Yeah, I used to do. I used to do an English breakfast pie, so I do oh a fry God. up in a pie. Oh, oh my fucking God. The pie up. Pie up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they live for it. But ah. me, so me, the one that is requested the most is a sausage plat, which is a sausage roll that's like that big. Yeah. Mm. With puff pastry, but I'd put loads of different stuff in it. Oh. Little secret. Recipe oh. That oh. my gran gave me. I have to get on Josh Jones pies here. Yeah. Well, my yeah. gran taught me how to bake when I was like eight. Yeah. So then I would, like, when I was a teenager, I'd bake pies on my own. It was called Julia Roberts Days. I'd have, <laughs> a, I'd bake a family-sized <laughs> pie to myself, and then I'd watch Julia Roberts' film and just eat the pie with a ladle. Oh, my God. It was, like, it's a big, like, like, a big thing comfort in my thing life. For you, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's adorable. Yeah. That's funny. So that. how did you get from pies to stand-up? That <laughs> <laughs> was such a win. I was at I was at uni and did it. You everyone was doing it at uni, and I was like the last one. And everyone kept telling me to do it, so I just did it because I did sketches. Before. Well, everyone at uni was doing yeah, stand up. Yeah, okay, yeah. what did you do at uni? It was like a performing arts course. Right, okay. Yeah, it was a comedy writing and performance <laughs> I was course that like James Josh. did. Yeah, but I um oh god, it was awful. But I um, is anyone from your class still on the circuit doing? And up or no, no, um, no, because one of them is doing really well, but he dropped out in the first year, so that doesn't right, count. Okay. But like, I think I'm the only one who's like doing it. Mm. Properly. The only one that's yeah. carried on with it, right? Yeah. And then there's people doing other stuff. Like one of them is really big on YouTube and stuff. Right. Okay. So, um, but yeah, I'm like the only one I think doing but stand up. Yeah. yeah. Got the second highest university of Solvers. Got the second highest. Uh, proportion of comedian after Cambridge. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Did, did Manford and that go? Manford, Peter Kay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kira. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But I, I was the last one in the class to do stand up because I was adamant that I wasn't going to do it. Yeah. Because I didn't want to do that. Because I used to like put um, pseudo creme on my face and dress up as a sperm. <laughs> 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 I was, so I was a bit busy doing that actually. <laughs> Um, so You're too busy, guys. Too yeah. like, sorry. <laughs> and then you people were like, "Stop that and <laughs> do this." Um, when so when what when was you being a sperm at uni? I did a sketch where I was a sperm racing for an egg, and then I, um, I, we had we had pseudo cream on our face and little shower cap. Yeah, and then at the end, like I caught the egg and just smashed it on my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I think I, you know. how many times yeah. did you do this? But this was Before like, people were like this was like now. just the acid was still in my system. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, there we this go. Yeah. like Makes a long sense. time yeah, ago. About the acid, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's so funny. I did. I only yeah. used to microdose it. Josh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, you were really yeah. lovely to me on my first day. I think they'd gotten you and someone else to like give us the freshers a talk about like yeah the course and stuff. I remember that, but none of the lecturers were in there, so you were just like bitching about how shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> it was like, you were like, don't worry about your first year, do whatever you want. I <laughs> failed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take acid, don't lie Take in the grass. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like, it, it sounds good, but pretty much it's free as a shit. <laughs> I was like, yeah, cool. it was. It's not a good course. No, it wasn't. I might have been that. Well, it's just drama teachers yeah. running a comedy course, and they had no, they have no they experience in it. But they did pay, like pay for um, like a professional comedian to come in and teach like the stand up module. Right. That well, good. that's just like one module. Yeah. So 
for what you're paying with mm. student loan as well. Especially now I'm paying my student loan back. Yeah. Like I'm like, oh, well, that was a waste of fucking time. I yeah. wish I knew that I was going to be a stand-up because I would have just gigged. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Saved all that money and yeah. just started gigging when you were 18 or well, whatever. I did party-wise. You have experiences. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had, yeah. like, a massive, like, party life at uni. But that's the only so reason I, reg- like, wish I'd gone to uni is for that side, which yeah. is a, a stupid reason to go, in it. That was kind of why I went. Yeah, yeah. And I did, like, proper, like, I went for it. Like, <laughs> so, you know, like, I failed the, one of the years yeah. and had to get extra year. It was student loan. So it was worth it in terms of, like, Living yeah. experience, but not yeah. like education experience. Yeah. yeah nice. See, what I've kind of done is gone back to uni now as an adult to fund me to fund this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I can work on this and I yeah. don't have to work in a job that takes up all my time. Yeah. And then when yeah. you finished, I'm going to enroll in university so we can carry I'm on. Keep this <laughs> so are you using your student loan to pay for this, basically? Yeah. That's yeah. great. It's clever, that, isn't it? Yeah. Because, yeah, I didn't know. I don't, I don't, it's Just, worked out all right yeah. because, I, like, I had a bad time at school and, like, m- my life's been mad. And to be able to use school for me now, it's, yeah. like, proper, like, jammy, I think. Yeah. yeah. And it's my good teachers, way, though, isn't it? Yeah. You've got all your I, travelling out the way. I've been trying to, like, mm. explain to my teachers, like, what I'm doing without them <laughs> looking into it because it's very drug-based. Yeah. Um. <laughs> But it's unavoidable, really, isn't it? Mm. But it's, it's like when... Because when, by the time I got to, like, the last year of uni, I was like, right, I want to be a stand-up. And it was, like, my first year of doing stand-up. But because I had student loan, mm. I, I only worked, like, a couple of days a week part-time because yeah. my student loan paid for everything. Yeah. So then I was like, right, well, just, like... F-, and then I was gigging, like, six nights a week because yeah. I was just, like... Yeah, got that freedom. Got, got that freedom that, yeah. and got that mm. free yeah. time. How, how long have you been gigging? Seven and a bit years. Seven, yeah. and, seven a bit. and a half. And it went, and it'd be eight in like April or May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Oh, Fine. You doing? You doing yeah. good? Have you just been on? You were on eight out of ten casters countdown. Yeah. Have you done any other telly stuff? Yeah. I've j- j- do you want a list? Yeah, no, go ahead. No, no, just tell us what. <laughs> uh, that's fine. I've done, yeah, I've done quite a bit. I'm quite lucky. I'm doing quite a bit at the moment. Yeah, and it's fun. What's, yeah. your, what's your biggest one, do you reckon? Or your favourite one? Countdown, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, was it fun, weird, though. like, st- going on to telly? Like, was it nervy or...? My first, me first, me first telly thing, now I realise, was a big one. Because a lot of people have, like, a smaller one as the first one. But my first one was not Countdown, but the normal 8 out of yeah, 10 Yeah, right. Mm. Yeah. And then that was weird, because mm. it was, like, I was like, why the fuck am I here? Yeah, yeah and also it's a show that you've watched. For, like, I, I don't know. I, yeah. I've watched it for ages since, yeah. like, Dave Spikey was oh, on it. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, years ago. So to go on that must be like, wow, this is fucking Yeah. yeah. Who um, was you on with for your first time? Do you remember? Um, so I was on with Kira, yeah. Yeah. which is great because I've known her since the start. Yeah. Because she ran the stand up module at oh, South right. June. Right, oh. yeah. So I've known her since the start of comedy, really. And then Rob Beckett. I love um, Rob. Catherine, Ryan, Jimmy, obviously, yeah. and then they was like, they have like two reality TV stars, and they were both lovely. Yeah. yeah. But the girl did say to me, she, I was like, "Oh, are you nervous? I'm really nervous." She was like, "Oh, I, well, you know, I'm, I'm not one of the comedians, so I just have to like laugh at you." And mm. I was like, "You know, easiest <laughs> <laughs> yeah, job, and yeah. just come in and sit and laugh and that." But like, I was, um, yeah, I was absolutely shitting me pants. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. But that was a f- that was ju- the month before lockdown, so it's twenty nineteen. Yeah, I think I remember watching it. To be honest, yeah, it was a little while ago, wasn't it? Is there any shows that you want to do? Like you've got your eye. Yeah, on? but I'm not going to say about it in case it didn't happen. Taskmaster, that's the yeah. one. Oh, yeah. I'd yeah. want to do yeah. that. That's yeah. so yeah. good. That. Oh, that's good. Well, if they ever do like a celebrity version of um, um, Race Across the World, what I was trying to explain to you before, yes. I'd love to do that. What's that? It's all good. So, th- we're, like, they have it where, where did they have to go? I think they had to go to, like, Shanghai or something mm. like that. And they have to get to, like, the o- opposite side of the world, but they only have the amount of money that it costs to fly there. Right. And they're not allowed to fly. So, they have to go on bus, train, uh, okay. but they have to go through different checkpoints. 
point, so you can't yeah. just go straight there. So you have to, so yeah, yeah, right, yeah okay. but I think... That sounds fun, Yeah, but it? I think comics would be really good at it. Yeah, yeah. Because especially we, if we're all on drugs. But also, well, <laughs> it was not going to be the drugs, but okay, we'll Always, we always, drugs. anything we do is like, put, put drugs, drugs on there, drugs. though. You think yeah. outside the box, though, yeah. when you're yeah. on drugs. And an oven. Is there an oven on that bus? I'll bake a pie. <laughs> but I, um, um, I think comics would be good, maybe not good TV for it, but I think we'd win because I've spent years on a mega bus. Mm. Like, oh, yeah. Just used mega to it. Bus, mega bus, mega bus. I've really been almost good. twice. Trains. No yeah. no big deal for me. I'll yeah. sleep under, under a bush. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. So I don't you, think you have to sleep under a bush in that. <laughs> you have, have to sleep to. in some yeah, yeah. shit out. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Not in a bush, it's, though. Have you not seen Race Across the World? My, I, I know because my ideal is I'd love to just go on catchphrase, me. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. I plan for catchphrase. Or f- is it called like things people have just said now? What's what? I watched it the other day and like one of the catchphrases was like, eggs in a window. Oh, it's got ridiculous it now, like, hasn't it? Yeah. You could what? literally say, like you could just say like, I don't know, cushion. Yeah. And it would be like, yeah, that's a, ca- that's a catchphrase. Mm. There's things on there that just don't. How many catchphrases are there, though, really? Exactly. So I think there's got to a point where now you can... Just gonna, I'll just say what you see, will you? <laughs> cushion. There you go, <laughs> there yeah. You go. Cushion this 50 quid. I'd love to do that. I'd love to meet Stephen Mulhern. Yeah. Uh, you did, did you? D- don't you yeah. not like him? I'd, I'd, well, I've, mm, I've got a bit of a... Yeah. A bit well, of beef with Stephen Mulhern. Well, I've got a bit of a love-hate yeah. <laughs> relationship with, with Hearn. Yeah. Um, it's because of Callum. My par- because Callum, yeah, because the Britain's got to. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> he's he just strikes me as someone who I think is like proper. I'd love to see him behind the curtain. Like I think see if he's just a dickhead or not. He's like, right, mm. where's my fucking lot? Yeah, I don't know though. I don't know if he's a big enough name for that. That's yeah, or maybe I, he's he's like annoyed at that. He's a bit like maybe. I used to f- I, I used to find them uh, like hilarious on the. Uh, Britain's got more talent. Oh, yeah, yeah. He used to rinse all the people. Like, he was hilarious, on that? I, I had but, this uh, magic set as a kid as well. I want to work with him because it was shite. <laughs> 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 was he, was he a magician? Is he a yeah, magician? Yeah. yeah, he was on CITV, wasn't he, yeah. as a magician? Him and yeah. Dom from uh, Dick and... Yeah. Dick and Dom, yeah. Dick and... Magician as well. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I'd love to... Race Across the World, I think. I, I, Sounds like a fun one. I'd get to, like, the first location, just have a breakdown, I think. I'd be like, I don't, Straight I in the don't pub. know how I'm... I when a train when a train's delayed, I have to I have to take time to like process. Oh really? Yeah. Like even if you know, when my biggest anxiety is when trains stop for no reason, mm. and then it takes me a while to realize it stopped. I'm like, why aren't we? Why aren't we moving? <laughs> here? Yeah. I mean, yeah, we yeah. could definitely do like what Penzance to tongue in it. <laughs> <laughs> the classic oh. Penzance to the tongue yeah. race across the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. South Penzance. to North UK. Yeah, yeah. I'd do that. Yeah. yeah. Where be, is tongue? Be. It's the very tip of Scotland. Is it? Yeah. Wait, near the Isle of Skye? Um, I, I mean, I imagine it's probably the last point before the Isle of Skye. Oh. It's still connected, yeah. like, to the mainland. You can go the Isle of Skye if you want. My Make friend got engaged there, and I was looking at the photos, and I was like, oh, I want to go there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's so beautiful up there. It doesn't look like it's part of the UK at all. Yeah, it like, looks it's amazing. Like, and it's I think at a certain time, you can see the Northern Lights. Yeah. 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 Which is yeah. I mean, if, if the time of the year is right, you can see them in Crosby. It, really? Fuck off! No, you, <laughs> no, you can't. The Iron Man. Do you want a bear? Can you add? Yeah, 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 sometimes. Are you sure he's not just a laser pen? No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <Your> Micro dosing's <laughs> not been going well, that say, well. Four twenty <laughs> FTM. <laughs> um, we saw them from an aeroplane. Wow. Yeah. Wow. On the way back from LA. Yeah. Did you f- you sort two of fly like jet setters ever since I've been in here talking about going China, oh, <laughs> Australia, yeah, yeah. and yeah. you can you do it with this. very little money. You just can't afford to eat whilst you're there. Yeah. Um, Which isn't fun, but you do lose a lot of weight. Yeah. So. Oh God. Yeah. Pros and cons. <laughs> yeah. Great. I see <laughs> pros to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like, like my allergies to be nice. This is yeah. relaxing. Yeah. yeah, that's why we don't go camping anymore. Because no, it feels no. like you get home and you need another holiday. Yeah, you've got to yeah. go back to work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're going on. I've already taken us to Amsterdam in January. That's fun. So mm. that'll be nice and relaxing because we don't have to pay for it. <laughs> 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 I like I like getting flown out for work. Oh yeah. yeah. Where's your favourite place you've been for work? Copenhagen. Oh, that was nice. Exotic. They were nice. They're just yeah. for gigs, that, yeah? Yeah, that was for a gig. Yeah. That Have you done really uh, the States? 
so no, no. I don't know if they'd understand the Northern accent. They would, would they? yeah, yeah. Defo. Uh, yeah, I don't I know. I, I, I also if you can understand Kyle Legacy, they'll understand oh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he go to? Th- he's th- just got back from America. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's done the I didn't know he was in America. America. I thought he's in Liv- uh, Australia. Yeah, he's just gone over for a few yeah. weeks. He just got back. He done like the, a few places in New York and LA. How he is everywhere, but also lives in a caravan. Yeah, that's why he can afford it. But. <laughs> um, no, I've not been to America. I've never really been like an Earth. Uh, oh, America. Yeah. I want to go yeah. New Orleans. Yeah. And I want to go Salem. I'm obsessed with like witches and I love the oh, name yeah. Salem. And stuff. I think Salem's such a good name yeah, so. for uh, for the dog that I'm going to get one day. <laughs> what are you so <laughs> obsessed with witches for? I fucking Witcher. love it. Yeah. Why yeah. would you not be? I lo- well, uh, my favourite film is Hocus Pocus, okay. which yeah. is the best film in the world. And, um, I've heard the new one's not great. I loved it. Was it all right? Yeah. But it's not as good. But did you I, just like it for the nostalgia of it, not yeah, necessarily being a good film? Yeah. Yeah, but I, I genuinely did. I was like, oh, it was, I cried. <laughs> 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 I watched it twice in a day. Yeah? Um, wow. Yeah, it was really emotional. And then How many go, pies did you eat while you were watching it? <laughs> well, none, because I was gigging that night. Oh, okay. So I can't have a pie. I go and stay like, oh. I don't really <laughs> eat pies as much anymore because... Because of bum sex, <laughs> <laughs> so you can't really yeah. be getting so bummed. Yeah. Well, I, I do everything. I'm I magical. Actually. But that's something I've learned today. You can't really be bummed after a pie. You can't get bummed after the pie. No. So this Put is it on a t-shirt. A lot of the times, I'll um, if I wanted <laughs> a pie, <laughs> if yeah. I wanted a pie, but I was dating someone. And I was going to bake him a pie. I would prepare the pie, but mm. not put it in the oven. Yeah. Then prepare myself. Yeah. yeah. Um, for anal, and then <laughs> get a shower and just stuff. in case anybody yeah, was wondering what, what he was, was preparing for. <laughs> and then, and then he'd come round. We'd have the sex. I'd put the pie in the oven. So Everyone what? Smashed so it. It, like <laughs> douching, smashed it. douching up the bum. Yeah. Okay, and just do that every time. I do. If you, unless you're a dirty bastard. Yeah, I I do. <laughs> well, I've, but, I've never douched up my bum. Well, it doesn't take that. It doesn't take that long, um, because I have. <laughs> but honestly, the the last six minutes of this show that I'm doing now is yeah. how straight people are terrible at anal and you yeah. fucking knock me sick. Yeah. But I um. But yeah, I have. Sorry. I have a whole plan like a fibre pills, I have a oh. douche and it's all clean and lovely. It's annoying if that's what you've got to go through just to have sex, isn't it? Like Yeah, but if you take the pills, the fibre pills, yeah. they it really helps your digestive system so douching doesn't take that long. Yeah. And actually I kind of enjoy douching because yeah. it feels like this is my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, the only, it's the only time I get to be self <laughs> and it does feel like self care and then yeah. after it you feel so thin. Yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah. God, I can fall down a grid like uh, you it must be good for you though, isn't it? Because people get them like uh, enemas, it, it, yeah. yeah, colonic when, irrigations yeah, or clonic. whatever. I've never had I'd that. Love to go for yeah, and people always go, "Fuck, look day. at all that coming out like on your wedding day." Yeah, if <laughs> I ever get married, I'm gonna do it like. Yeah. So I don't want to have to douche myself on my wedding yeah. day. So I'll go oh, do yeah. that. We we'll go for a group colonic. Yeah, colonic. I think, yeah. I want to be fully yeah cleansed. Cl- yeah, yeah. Are, are, are you TV. seeing anyone at the minute? Any weddings on the? No, I'm not. Um, I'm. I've got um, um no no, no. Okay. <laughs> okay no I um I, so I was seeing someone recently because now I don't really shag about anymore um which is sad I I, <laughs> I actually have to like the people now okay. which is is quite annoying but so <laughs> like um all part of growing up yeah so um but I've been dating quite a lot but not shagging most of them but there's a guy who've had like three dates with. Um, and then he's going to come round to mine on Monday and I'm going to cook for him. So I'm I've, my so, pie. Yeah, and I've not been bummed in a good two months, so that'd be nice. Okay. But I, um, <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah, okay. There you go, nice. Just I just didn't know if that was off. too much. There we go. No, oh, that's no. fine. Not too much on not here. Not too much for this. I mean, too much of, like... Too much. Because I've only been on four... This will only be the fourth date. Shall I tell... <laughs> Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, right. I think it's weird when you're dating. Are you, are you dating someone? I'm with you. I'm with yeah, my you're girlfriend for two years. Yeah. If you're, if you're not, though, if you're single, it's really hard doing comedy because it's like, when is like a like normal time to do a routine about them? Yeah, like, right. How long into dating are you allowed yeah. to tell jokes about mm. them? Yeah, I don't I've know. Ne- Why I've have, you, have you thought not so? about not, not I've not okay. thought of anything for him, but I have like in the past, I've been like, 
I don't know. This is good content. Yeah, I think it, it, it depends a bit on what the material is as well. You know, like if because some, some people like proper like slag the partners off or whatever on stage. Oh, and I, I wouldn't do if, that. If, yeah, it, it depends if it's like embarrassing or whatever. Um, it just depends on how much you can get away with saying like, "Oh, we was only messing. None of that actually happened or whatever." Like, yeah. Have you got any embarrassing sex stories? Um, I've had loads of, um. Yeah, but nothing. I don't get that embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. really. Well, that's good. Yeah, but I've had, um, yeah, I've had like situations where I'm like, mm, that was a bit awkward. Awkward. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially this one guy, and he t- he told me he was like 36, but he was definitely 50. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> a big jump. Yeah, <laughs> and what what you like, that? he was lying about his age. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you ain't for, and I was shagging him anyway. So yeah, like, yeah. Why are you like, even bothered? Yeah, yeah. It was years yeah. ago. Um. But that it's was weird. weird. When people but, lie about their age. Yeah, but it? he, uh, do you know, I, he used to do a lot of coke. Mm. This was years ago. Every time I saw him, he was like coked up. So I, I didn't stay with him that long. Yeah. But um, but then he, he couldn't really. Uh, the old coke yeah, dick. The coke dick. Was and that I, a thing? Yeah, yeah. And I find that really awkward. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, when you just like, oh, never mind. Like, don't worry. Yeah. And then you Come have to in. be. You have to be like. Supportive, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'll yeah. put the pie in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Have you suffered with that, James? Yeah, <laughs> like he told he us, he told us about this at the slumber party. Oh, did you? And he Have you got coke, his, Dick? He no, I've never done. I've never it. done. I've oh. never he consoled it. his flaccid penis. I remember now. He, he spoke to his mum about it. Didn't yeah. You? Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. I didn't. I've, not, I've was, never, never. How had. old was you? Seventeen. Yeah. 17. Oh. Well, they happen. Um, one of the main reasons I came out as gay is because I couldn't get an erection over girls anymore when I was a teenager. So you so did for a bit? I did. Just I like have dated have girls. Yeah, girls, yeah. 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 But then uh, when uh, when I got to like 19, my dick couldn't lie anymore. The <laughs> <laughs> so new like, Shakira song, yeah, right? So my dick like, don't lie. <laughs> so um, so, the, like, Black. did you know that you was gay when you were seeing these girls and you just sort of carried I on? I knew to that train? I was attracted to, la- yeah, I knew that I was yeah. gay. But was like you also, attracted to girls as well or did you just try to... just like, I thought they were nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Didn't really think about it. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Weird. I think it's, conf- I was just like a bit confused. Yeah. And then when I got to like 18, 19, I was like, nah, defo, fully gay. Mm. Yeah. 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 Because I wasn't like, I think in the films... They make it out that the gays are oh women ugh, and I'm like, well, that's just childish. Mm. That's yeah. not true. I was just like, it took me a while to be like, oh, not for me. Yeah, right. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Did you yeah. like? Everyone always goes, oh, did you? When did you know you was gay or whatever? And it's like, I don't know. Is you ever like? Sort of just you don't wake up one day and go, I think I'm gay. It's like no, but your whole was, life you might sort of like. It was certain. Go, like, I think a lot of people have it in films. And there's always like a film. Or yeah. Like, character that you're like mm. yeah so like uh, so yeah quite young yeah probably would you date a comedian i don't know i've been time with this because dating is um i, I don't know it, i don't yeah. know it depends who it is yeah it depends if they're good have you yeah, got you have to be good i you couldn't, couldn't date someone who's shit um, at it, be, pick one <laughs> well it's quite it's slim pickings with gay ones mm. yeah yeah there's none I'm that interested there's in. There's a lot of bi ones all of a sudden. Yeah, there's... Um, <laughs> Getting on these LGBTQ lineups. Like, oh, I'm bisexual. Oh, yeah. They know that. <laughs> they might be, though. They probably are. They might be, yeah. They probably are. <laughs> but I, Been um, pegged once, let me on. <laughs> but I, um, I... Yeah, I don't know. I would. Um, I don't know if I would. What about a straight I one? Uh, no, well, no. I wouldn't shag a straight guy anyway. Okay. I don't find straight guys attractive. No. I don't like wasting my time. <laughs> We're all right, James, don't worry. <laughs> well, it just seems like wasting my time when I'm going to pine over some of that. And then what, what, they've never shagged a guy before. I don't want that. Yeah. I don't want to... Sh- I've been doing... Yeah. What a waste of a pie. For 10 years now. Like, if I haven't got someone who's... Knows what they're doing. Yeah, I'm not training someone up again. Yeah. I always yeah, felt true. bad bringing it up on dates, because obviously, like... What, anal? <laughs> yeah. Do, like doing stand up because mm. you know, like just a white man, yeah, being so guy like, hey, I do stand up, yeah, it's like the whole stereotype of like, and also bringing your girlfriend to gigs and like, hey, did that new bit work? Like, I've never done that, and I, like, I feel really bad on my go- like, I like, I, you don't have to come to this gig if you don't want, yeah. It. Well, yeah. I started stand up when we were already together, <clears throat> but like, I imagine if you already done it and then you met someone and they were like, oh, I want to come see you, and you're like. 
wait till this gig. Because you, know, you know some gigs, you kind of have a feeling yeah. like, this might be shit, I'm only going to go down and try and it's, do stuff anyway or whatever. Like, don't come to that one, come to this yeah, one, yeah, see yeah, if we yeah. do well it, at somewhere. Like. It's well easier when you've been doing it a while yeah. and you're like, it's my job. You know what you're so doing, you're like, yeah. When yeah, when you've got self assurance. Yes. But if you like an open spot, yeah, bringing dates to like yeah. an open mic. Yeah, open spot. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, yeah. you're learning how to do it. Yeah. And then you're like, I want to come watch a gig. And I'm like, I'd rather you not. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely would rather you not. Yeah. Whereas now, I'd, after a couple of dates, I'd be like, yeah, come. Yeah, come down. Yeah. Is yeah. right. I really like going. Like, yeah, you just like stand always, up and that in it as well. Yeah, like. like the amount of comedians that have said to me, like, oh, you won't be here for long. And just like, but I enjoy myself. Yeah. That's why I go. I like stand up. Yeah. But the amount of people that's like, oh, you're not going to be here for long because they think I'm only here for Dean, which I am. Support you. Love no, but it, and you also, though, like, we. Uh, well, I've got my own interests yeah, as well. Yeah. We also used to use, like, me gigging as, like, our little time together, wasn't it? Because, like, we go, go together, tea, we go for tea. Then, yeah. Drive to the sometimes the drives to the gigs can be two odd hours and that. Yeah. So it's like time and I spent keep together. I sing See, the it, whole it, way. It's really lucky that you was already together. Yeah. Mm. Because it is dead hard trying to like trying to um, convince someone you're not wasting your time when you're yeah. just starting dating yeah. and you're like you're like oh well why are you going all the way to Hull for no money? Mm. For 10 minutes. And you're like, oh, it'd be worth it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in 10 but, years' time. But, <laughs> but now, and that was something I struggled with for years dating, like that is actually a pain in the ass, I think. But then now, um, now like I'm doing all the clubs and then also I've got some telly credits. Mm. Yeah. They're like, oh, well, it's serious. Yeah. That, yeah. You made the world a difference. Yeah, well, because like, I'm like, well, it's like, well, I do it for a living. Yeah. And it's yeah. like... Not just like a hobby anymore, yeah, yeah, is it's it? like a job. Yeah. So when when dating, I'm like, this is my job. Mm. So, mm. like... The hardest bit must be, uh, like, time schedules, innit? Yeah. Because most people yeah. work nine to five or whatever hours. And then yeah, you're like, yeah. oh, you've just finished work. I'm off to work. See you later. Yeah. So, like, o- organising dates could be quite hard and that. Like, yeah. What's been your proudest moment? Like going on telly, I imagine was like. I think cl- I think doing closing clubs is. Oh yeah, more headlining. important yeah. to me. Yeah, yeah like yeah. headlining comedy clubs because that isn't booked. That's booked on. It doesn't matter if you're gay or not. That is booked on. Can Pure you talent. Like yeah. if you if you get booked to like close like a like a like a close to a comedy store in London mm. weekend mm. on a Friday. Yeah, yeah. I was like. That isn't because I'm gay. They wouldn't like. <laughs> yeah. They yeah, wouldn't yeah. do that. Yeah, They're like, yeah. you have to be shit hot yeah. at comedy to do yeah. it. Yeah. And, so that, like, and when you get into like comedy as well, important. like, f- I, I was the same sort of. My ideal is getting in at the clubs, yeah. headlining in the clubs. The other stuff sort of comes off the back of that, don't it? Yeah. Like the going on tours and stuff like that. Yeah. But where you're gonna make your living and. Well, yeah. I think the funnest kind of comedy is that club the environment clubs. and that. So, like, I think that is, like you say, that's a good, like, moment to pick of, like, oh, I headline across all the clubs in, in, in the UK or yeah. whatever. Is it way different London to up here, gig, gig and miles? Not really. The only thing that's a bit different, like, so, like, here we have loads of, um, a lot of the gigs are like you've got Peter Vincent gigs, Rob Riley gigs, where it's a lot of like rugby clubs and cricket clubs. Mm. And there's that in the south, and they're the same. There's like out of London, I'll do stuff like that. But I did notice there was a lot of like um, commuter towns where it was like real money, money, like affluent old yeah. posh people. Yeah. And it took me a while to crack them. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But now I've got a set. For that, oh nice. Okay. See, that's what I you mean. need to build over yeah. the years, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Like so different what do, sets. What do they really. like? Well, I, it's less. I do a bit less swearing. Okay. Uh I'll like. Yeah, it's it's more. Um, I I just think I I love that about the north that we are so rough and audible. Well, but I still <laughs> I still be like myself. Yeah. And I'll still like do the jokes that I do. Just tone it back but, a little well, bit. I like. know, but you also have to be like. This is where I'm free. You have to be quite like unapologetic, yeah. sort yeah. of thing. Definitely. And at the end of the day, you've been booked for it as well. Yeah, you know? that's why I always think like you get booked for a certain gig. It's like, all right, yeah. If he's, I have to be myself because I got booked off being myself. Yeah. yeah. Sorry yeah. if you aren't the like, right audience for I me really, or whatever. I or. really like opening because like I'm not offensive, mm. but some of my stuff, some people 
like the jokes can be a bit like fucking hell. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So I think it really is like a good if someone's a bit more like edgy. Yeah. Like it's good to follow up because yeah. I've already tested the waters, mm. but not with edgy material, but I've already been like, right. It's on the way. I did five minutes yeah. about how you are all shit at bumming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I had a fucking boss time on a, on Friday night. I done Rochdale Rugby Club. It was yeah. like something the Frog had set up. Uh, but it was like a charity night for like the 15-year-old rugby team Yeah, to raise money for them to go to some, I don't know where they were going, to, but a rugby trip anyway. And uh, so there was loads of 15-year-olds in, oh, but they were all sat at the back, all lads, right? And I was like, oh, this is going to be a fucking nightmare, this. Yeah. Never had comedy on there before. It was a sick gig, but at one point I asked a couple, like, oh, have you ever, has he ever sent a dick pic to you? And the, and the woman was like, oh, I don't know. And the fellow was like, yeah, I have, yeah. And next thing, these lads were all going, wait, wait, wait. And I, w- I went, what the fuck's going on over there? And he went, that's his mum and dad. Uh. <laughs> and I went... Way and everyone turned around and started going, Way. I was pissing myself. This lad was just in the corner, just like, ah. Oh. And I was like, This is what you get for bringing 15 year olds to the comedy yeah. club. Like, I'm fucking, <laughs> you're getting that's, it now. That's why I think gigs out of the city are dead fun if you're yeah. in like a village or something like yeah. that because everybody in the room knows each yeah. other. Yeah. It's weird so, though, sometimes. So, yeah, yeah, sometimes you walk in and you're like, Yeah, oh. I did this. It was like, it was a farmer's gig. It was raising money for something to do with farmers. Mm. So it was loads of farmers and, like, the families. And then um, I just started ripping into this bloke. But then his wife picked up from the back of the room. Yeah. And then, like, her sister then packed <laughs> it. Yeah, like, yeah. Why am I in a family yeah. dispute yeah. with, like, <laughs> this family? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. The weird when you, when you try and do crowd work and, and you ask someone what they're doing and someone over there goes, yeah, and yeah, you're yeah. like, who the fuck who are you? Yeah. Like, yeah. what's going yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah. I think Smart. them places as well would be so grateful to just have the, yeah, an yeah, event on. on yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. when we went to Theatre Royal the other day, like, because the, the, the play, what was it, Rita Sue and Bob 2, it's about nonsense. And there's lines in it about hitting your missus and that. And because it's so old school saying oh, telling, people are like, way. Yeah, it was like premise for that play. It's horrible. I didn't know what we were going in for. I thought it was pantomime. And, and when we were walking in, like, it was still dead funny. But like, I, I did, oh, there's like, he's shagging a young girl or whatever. And I, and then I was like, oh, it's a comedy. Okay, at least we'll be able to like laugh on that. But then there was loads of like groups of old women going in, and I was like, "What's tonight going to even be like?" And then like one of the first lines is like, "Ah, shut up, you fucking cunt," or whatever. All the Aldis are like, "Hey!" Yeah. But then there was bits where there was like the dad was like, "I'll fucking wrap this brush around your head in a minute, you little bastard," and all this, and they were all going, "Hey!" But that's like stuff, it was reminding them of like what yeah. their husbands oh, used to do that. and all that. But it was weird. Like <laughs> that's the stuff our parents like grew up on TV yeah. shows yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. and then you look him like, "No wonder you fucked." Oh, yeah. yeah, my mum was t- my mum's fucking bright idea. Talk- my mum started talking about feminism, right? And then <laughs> she was like, "The thing is, though, when when I was at work, like if the, my boss used to like pinch my ass, and I thought it was like a nice compliment, yeah. and I was like, yeah." Nah, like, yeah. okay. it's, it's like you yeah. try and it ex- takes a while for stuff to get like changed, oh, yeah. become a yeah, problem, yeah. then start and changing. People are that, subjects of their environment as well out there. Like, that, have you seen that three identical strangers? Oh yeah, yeah. So it's a uh, so it's triplets in Is the it curse like system, like a documentary. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Oh, right. But into the curse system, you know, if it was like parent trap. <laughs> they've like tried to up yeah. one the film, so they got an extra yeah. Lindsay low yeah. added. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so they basically used twins and triplets in experiments, put them with different f- classes uh, of family. So the the poor one ended up killing himself because of his life, yeah. and then the other two was fine. But they they found out like they found each other by accident. But they're not getting. They're not like releasing. They won't release the data or whatever right. on the experiments until they've died. That's which mad, is isn't it? shocking. How old are they? Now, don't know. Must yeah. be in like the forties or something old. now, isn't it? Forties, yeah, fifties. Like don't say old. Oh, is, is I know. I was no, gonna say. Like, don't. I'd, I'd I'm just about to turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna guess. I'm say fifties or sixty. Okay. But I don't know. Still not that old. I'm really bad at ages. Old. I thought Dean was thirty when I met him, and he was twenty, twenty-one. Have you been together? It wasn't twenty-one, years? was it? Uh, nearly. Uh, nine Eight years, nine years in May. Oh, it's like twenty-two or something. Yeah. <laughs> Ages. <laughs> uh, can we have a little break? Two oh minutes. Yeah. Just need to change yes. the battery. We'll be back in a minute. Feel supreme. 
we contacted these guys ourselves because we wanted to be sponsored by a brand that we genuinely believed in. If you want to improve your sleep, digestion, relieve stress, everything you want for an easier life, you need to get on Feel Supreme. We started using uh, the Lion's Main Tincture, which was one of the best supplement award in the UK. We put it in our coffee in the morning and it helps with memory and focus. Studies show that Lion's Main stimulates the growth of brain cells and helps to protect against disease such as Alzheimer's. And it's the easiest way to do it. Just put it in your coffee in the morning. Lovely. Tastes <laughs> nice. Done. Flying. Gosh. Have you ever heard of nicotinamide riverside? What's that, dear? Riverside, motherfucker. <laughs> Neither had we. <laughs> <laughs> we hadn't heard of it either. You need to look it up because apparently it's a natural anti-aging supplement. Widely studied health benefits that you can use to treat cardiovascular, neurodegenerative and metabolic disorders. Who doesn't want to deal with the metabolic and neurodegenerative and disorders? And cardiovasculars. I do. <laughs> they've got loads of stuff. They've got CMOS, they've got hemp protein, stuff for your brain, stuff for your guts, stuff you've never heard about. But once you read up on it, you'll be like, why have I not heard of this? And why isn't it taught in schools? Ashwagandha. Shilajit. <laughs> All this stuff <laughs> is good for you. We're not just making up words. These are actual things that you need to know about. They make T- you feel supreme. TMHC 15. For 15% off, you feel 15% more supreme yeah. with 15% off. <laughs> TMHC 15. Feel supreme. Go get your brain t- stronger. We'll get some riverside. Feel supreme. Hello. If you're enjoying this episode, give it a little like, a thumbs up. Is that the same thing? I think it's the same thing. Give us a comment. Show us some love and appreciation. Don't make this a toxic one way relationship. Nobody likes that. All you need to do, little comments in the comment section to help our algorithm. Give us a little follow on social medias The Mild High Club UK, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all them. If you like what we're doing, see it on online, give us a little share. We do get like suppressed on TikTok and stuff, so sometimes we can't post stuff on TikTok, so follow us on all social medias to make sure you're never missing a clip. Hit the ding-dong <laughs> bell. Whatever that is. <laughs> Drop a comment down in the little comments for us. Let people know you're here. It's joining the club and that. Support us. Love yous. Back to the episode. Love you, bye. Ta. Right, yeah. Him? Okay, that's because we carry on. So, do we have... We have it's any shameless. Patreon questions? Oh, but we've not finished the so shameless. Oh. What's your most shameless oh, moment? Shame, shameful. 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 I don't get that. You don't shame, feel shame. No, okay. no, no, do it. I of well, I think it's mainly just when you gig it. If you die in your ass, yeah. and then you I get like I get this urge of like I know this sounds really bad, but if I could get away with murder and I could kill all the witnesses in that room, <laughs> <laughs> I would like to do it. That's really rational, that, Josh. Yeah, If I like, could murder this whole room of 100 yeah. people, I'd love that. Like, when you've died on your ass and you're just like, oh. I've had a lot of shame for, like, some of the hookups. I'm like, right, all right. I've, I've shagged someone in a barbershop quartet, a birthday clown. All pup- four of them, or...? Yeah. No, just did he oh, sing, okay. sing his own. Hello, hello. I have not dated him actually. But I'm then like coming, a birthday I'm clap. Coming. Some of I think <laughs> some of I'm my coming. men are quite questionable. And a lot of the, the guys I've dated, my friends are like, Josh, what is going on? Yeah. yeah. And every time like um because like the other week I went and watched a new Halloween film. Mm-hmm. It was shite, but mm-hmm. I loved it. And there was like they brought like a new killer into it, so there's like another guy in it. And um, another I got Michael like, Myers. No, it's like a different character. Oh. And about four people text me in the same day, being like, "I've just watched Halloween. You will fancy this guy so much." <laughs> and I had watched it already, and I was like, "He was so." Funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, but are you like, a fan of red flags? Is that is that a, are you like toxic men? Do you or? I'm getting out of it a lot okay. more. Okay. Well, you did. I, I did like someone who's a bit like mysterious. Yeah. Like yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> but I've always dated someone who's like quite interesting. Yeah. Or mm. off the wall. Yeah. Mm. Like someone who's like fucking crazy, but in like yeah. a fun way. Oh, I think the mind is the most important thing when you're yeah. like getting a partner. If I can't date someone who will bore me. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So I'm shameful. I'm not sh- ashamed of it, but like some of the guys, I'm like, that's a bit shameful. I did mm. shag, um, I did a gig in a caravan park and shagged a red coat. That's quite <laughs> 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 But he was like... Did you leave the coat on? Yeah, no, he, he, <laughs> we had like a bla- black blazer. Oh. But he, um, but he, it was, oh, I hope he do not listen to this. That's quite sad. But like he does... Uh, it be all right. He'd been, know, uh, he'd been uh, 
a red coat for like 10 years. Yeah. Wasn't Stephen Mullen, was it? <laughs> was Stephen Mullen. Yeah. Is he a red coat before a magician? I'm sure he used to be. Yeah. Used he's to lived a life. Of, I know, yeah. <laughs> How old is he? He's not that old. He's got to be in his 40s. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that's ancient quite to a lot in that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of work done, I think. Yeah. What's the oldest guy you find attractive, like celebrity wise? This guy. Some gays in here. Um, I don't really know. Honestly, because my attraction like is is based on mind and personality yeah. as well. So like honestly, it doesn't matter what they look like if if oh, that's comfy. <laughs> 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 it doesn't matter what happens to your face. Um Thank God. <laughs> no, but I just like obviously I don't know who's fit. One of my one of my oldest one one of my first crushes when I realised I was gay was Bill Nye, and I think it's because he's cool. And then Jeremy Irons, do you know him? Oh, who does yeah. the voice of no. Scar? Oh no! But he's like in his seventies, and I still oh really still would, that yeah. old? Yeah. But he's well, like don't know fucking could. cool. Is he? Yeah. And I heard a story that he like um had like a proper horse and carriage. <laughs> and like drop his kids off at school in the horse and car. I don't know if that's Love true, that. anyway. but I was like, he's really like eccentric. Yeah, his yeah. son Max Irons is. Oh, an he's and he's fit. His son's well <laughs> fit. Who's this? Max what? Max Irons. His dad's Jeremy Fucking Irons. Sick name, no, yeah. yeah. Max I mean, Irons. I'm all for getting picked up from work on a, a carriage horse and car. Yeah, whatever. yeah. Oh, well, maybe good one day. Yeah, put yeah. the hints in. I'd love that. We work together though. I know, but there's there's times. There's times when you so can No, I have to learn not only am I driving us everywhere, I've got to fucking learn how to drive I'll a horse and carriage. I'll do it for you one day. Yeah, thank you. Donkey. <laughs> I love donkeys. <laughs> I know how to ride donkeys. Do you? Yeah. Well you can drive the carriage. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Finally. Mm. I can get pissed and get <laughs> drove over. The yeah, because I can't yeah. drive. Sell the driver. <laughs> yeah. That'd be so funny if I turned up as you. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Drive driver one day. Please. On a donkey. Please. Have do you that. ever done that when you've been in London? First time I went to London. I'd never been to London. I've only been to London twice, so. Yeah, I'd never been to London until I started stand up. Yeah. Mm. And the first time I went was for a gig, but I went in one of those, do you know, the guys on the bike. Oh, oh, like yeah. the little tuk tuk type of thing. Yeah, I loved <laughs> it. I yeah that's a boss way it. to get around, yeah, isn't it? It's I loved it. Fun. It was super expensive, love. Is oh, it? Really? Yeah. Oh. But it was fun. Uh, oh, I asked you about, did you want to see shameful moment? Yeah, you, you said you wanted to kill everyone. Shag the red coat and, and, uh, kill <laughs> and yeah. someone in a barbershop coat. What method of uh, murder? <laughs> no, it's just like. Um, if you to be honest, I haven't like people. I haven't died on stage in a while because yeah. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but do you know when you just have you just have a gig and you're like I wish no one saw that. Mm. Yeah, I just I'm like it's mad in it because they won't even really remember. But yeah. for From me, most it's, like, of the people it's there. great that like it'd be great if they could all just not exist. Just all um, big yeah. massive so crash on the way home. Or or but not death, them. but I'd just be like, do you know, just not exist. Yeah. <laughs> like Thanos. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. never existed. Yeah. yeah. MK Ultra. Yeah. Yeah. But, but then uh, after, fa- after five minutes when I've calmed down from the gig, I'm, like, I'm glad they're alive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but just have a, have a like initial, like, I wish everyone here was dead. Yeah. yeah. Is that yeah. just me? I Would you bake no, them into I feel pies? like that. I uh, <laughs> after if I die on my ass, I'm just like I want to rip everyone's head off. Yeah, yeah. And do you feel so? Like yeah. That? What way would you kill? I feel like I I more go down the route of I wish I was dead. Yeah. No. I never. <laughs> I do it all I'm in them. Like, it's yeah. always there. Fire. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, are you fire. asking how it's fire? <laughs> I said lock burn the, them alive. Lock the door. Yeah. Lock the door. No, no, actually, no, because I want the club to survive. That's mean that. I want the club it's to a bit selfish, yeah. carry on. Yeah, I just sort of Shoot. kick them off. Oh, the yeah, yeah. oh, oh. A, a, a killing a group of people. Oh, yeah. just murdering one person. Oh, Have you ever seen We Need to oh. Talk About Kevin? Yeah. Where he, I don't know. She, well, I can't remember. She it. realizes he's raising. She's worried he's raising. She's her mum's raising a psychopath, and then mm. he turns out he is. Yep. And then he like locks the school gym, uh, and like just has a crossbow with him, and he just starts picking off. You do that, would you? One by one. Yeah. I'd miss. <laughs> yeah, I did Shoot archery. Yourself. Stop yeah. moving. Yeah. <laughs> I did archery once in Magaluf, and it was really bad. <laughs> Phrase. Yeah. Yeah. No, I wouldn't do in that. Magaluf. I don't know. Something like quick and easy. Yeah. Archery. Gas. <laughs> Just like like, like yeah. gas them yeah. out. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gas them. <laughs> okay. Next snap, maybe. Yeah. Just go behind them and go. All of them. 
But the, but then I would never do it because I I'd, like I am always happy that there are like it's literally like two minutes. I'm just like I wish everyone in here was dead. <laughs> and then it it only takes me ten minutes to get over a bad gig now. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. Have you got that any... with time or? Yeah. No, um, like I'd been like that quite early on because I remember the first time I died in my ass, I went home and cried myself to sleep. Yeah. And then I was like, I can't do this all the time. Yeah. Pull yourself together. So now I give myself like half an hour. Just like, to reflect on it a bit yeah, and see I, where and I why I went wrong. I try and get food as quick as possible. Ah, uh, okay. And nice. then like, if I can just eat, I'll be like, I'm fine. Eat your emotions. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. It's, it. A lot of the time as well, it's a bigger deal for you than... The audience. Yeah. Like the audience might go, oh, no, that, that a bit But shit, to be it? honest, now as well, because it's like, oh, you've got to write a new show in, in a, like a year. Mm. Mm. You're trying out new material all the time. So you're trying new lines yeah. or whatever. So you're less, it's, you're more like, oh, I'm trying shit. If you can get comfortable in it as well, yeah, that's yeah. the best way to be in it. If, yeah, you, if yeah. you can bomb and be like, not asked. Yeah. Like, that's probably the best way. I don't want to be, be like in. that though, because then you're bombing a lot. Yeah, I if, get what you if mean. You, yeah. If you like, if you can pop and just be like, I'm still sick, you'd be like, no, you're not. No, <laughs> I, I don't necessarily mean that you go, I'm sick. But, yeah. you know, like if it, if something's not working, you can sort of sit in it and like not panic. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, And yeah, get yeah, comfortable yeah, yeah. in that sort of silence type of thing. Yeah, mm. I died on my ass in front of my mum and dad, but they drove me to the gig and took me home after. Oh, and it was a car like? Or I just wrote, I, I had my notebook and I just kept writing, stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> 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 this oh this is God. not good enough. <laughs> Write new stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Offer petrol money. <laughs> <laughs> Offer <laughs> petrol <laughs> money. <laughs> horrible. Uh, it's absolutely horrible. Um, have you got a toxic trait, Josh? Um, toxic trait. So and I, you, James. Um, do I have a toxic trait? I... I don't. I I keep <laughs> no, answering these questions like no, I'm perfect. But honestly, I uh, no, I must do. I think the fact that you bet pies like compensates for a lot of toxicity. If you add not yeah. Well, I feel like wanting people dead because I didn't <laughs> have a good gig was it's pretty toxic. Yeah, there, but it's only a couple of minutes. Yeah. Okay. I think I get stressed out for like four minutes, okay. and then I. Quite chill. Mm. You're allowed. Don't get that. That's a- fine. Angry. That's like, why we ask this question. Top, I don't know if it's toxic. I'm not good at admin. I can't do anything. Okay. Yeah. I can't plan anything. Okay. But is that toxic? <laughs> toxic no, means just like mean. <laughs> yeah, just like it's like bad vibes. Bad vibes. Yeah. Mm. What's I used to when I was closeted. I was a little okay. cunt. But when I came out, I was like, I'm going to use this to try and be a nice person. Is that because you was closeted, though? And you yeah, had I was a lot like, of like an ang- and also an angry there. little teenager mm. as well. Yeah. yeah. What age did you come out? Like 19, 19, 20 years Yeah. Nice. So it's just, yeah, 10 years. Nice. But I, um, but yeah, I try not to. Maybe, what if toxic's the wrong word? What about like uh, something I've could got change? Faults. Yeah. Oh, would, <laughs> oh. yeah. There we go. It would definitely be admin. admin. <laughs> anything like that. I just did Vittorio's podcast. Yeah. And I was speaking to him because I'm friends with him. And, and he was just, he said, like, you're the only friend. Because, like, we're friends who will text. But he's like, you're the only person who, like, I would have to go to your agent to get you to get. I don't, I don't do admin. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm so bad at it. <laughs> it's a good and thing about having an agent, though, isn't it? You can just yeah. go, I'll yeah. speak to them for well, us. Before I had an agent, I dated a guy for ages who, who I don't know if I was that into him, but he did do my admin. I was basically <laughs> sucking someone's dick. <laughs> like, I think he emailed us. <laughs> but, like, I'm really well bad at it, and I'm not a very good read. Oh, this is a bad trait, maybe. I'm a phoner. So what? if you a oh, phone, you so ring if you people text up. me, I phone you back, uh, and that ruins a lot careful. of relationships. We're never yeah. being friends. <laughs> <laughs> but I do. Uh, I only do it to a few people, but like I phone a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but this is weird. So our the have a word Lou band special went out on the eleventh, and by ten forty, I think it was, I had someone yeah, messaging me ten forty. Um, hey, want a new pay pig? And then uh, called me at 10.45 and then again at 10.49. Called me twice. I can't do that. I a pear pig? A pear pig. Down. What's like, a pear pig? A, p- a pay, pay. pay pig. So someone who I insult and they'll pay me for it. Is this a job? No. Uh, yeah. So you just call them a twat and then they pay you? I mean, yeah. I, I've not, 
but that's what it is. What, just on voice notes? Uh, just on on Instagram. I didn't even that's know you could call. I kind of do that for my mum, but not in the sense <laughs> that. But my mum, um, she finds it dead funny when I swear at her. Yeah. So whenever I'm, whenever if she's like having a bad day, I'll text her being like, oh, fucking get over yourself, you sad bitch. <laughs> like, she finds it so okay. funny. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. So That's maybe, a more wholesome one. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's still a bit weird. Oh, yeah. Like, at what, quarter to 11 a.m.? Yeah. Ringing, ringing you is the mad twice. one. Mid-morning. Ringing you is the... Don't, don't ring Can I say, I don't ring strangers. <laughs> okay, I ring, on. like, friends. <laughs> yeah. And even if it's a friend who, I'm, like, is a friend... I only ring close friends. Yeah. yeah. So uh, there's only, like, five or six people who I ring. But yeah. I ring them I get it, though. It's nice, um, it's nice having a chat. Like, Nightingale rings yeah. me. Like, we have rings a little me. chat and that. It's, it's, but what's that going to... What's that... What, what was we going to say on that conversation? Well... I think he was wanting you to call him a little knobhead or something, wasn't he? Yeah. And ringing a phone. I had um I had to get a new number because I didn't realise that my number was on Instagram in in the info bit. Oh really? Yeah, and Isn't I didn't know and because I kept getting phone calls and I just ignore it because I didn't know it. And then one time I kept getting like FaceTimes and I never answered it. Yeah. And then one time I answered it and it was like this guy, um, I don't I don't know what accent it was. <laughs> I think it might have it was like European. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. European, but he's like, I love your comedy. Okay. And I was like, pardon? And he had no top on. It was really weird. <laughs> and um, so then I put the phone down and I texted him like, oh, sorry, can you just tell me where you got my number from? Because it had been a couple of weeks of yeah. weird stuff. Right. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, it's on Instagram. And then I was like, no. Oh, yeah. So okay. I had to change I'll my phone number. Uh, no, he, well, I would have rang you if it was on Instagram. But do he you get? Do you no, he rang you through Instagram, yeah, no. Okay, yeah. But because you're in a relationship, I, and it, and quite public, mm, everyone knows. Oh, that doesn't matter. So yeah, does like it I had another one, a guy asking if he first time met, I could just watch him wanking. Crazy! I get a lot of um, <laughs> dick pics from yeah um, a lot of all the because Morgan, who I do the podcast with, he yeah. gets it from because Morgan's like massive and like muscular so mm. the guys mm. that message him are like fucking they all look like models yeah. yeah and the ones that message me are all like 210 years old <laughs> <laughs> and it's not just like what they'll send like dick pics and stuff but it's more it's like really weird creepy yeah. shit like they want to like look after me yeah uh, right and all that sort of stuff i'm like, <laughs> like a sugar daddy kind of thing yeah I'm and i'm like daddy. i'm making yeah it was, there was a guy who was like um he was like, I've just seen you on this TV program. If if you want some extra money, blah blah blah. And I was like, Well, I don't need. You. If you see me on TV, I don't need your money. <laughs> yeah. Your yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll keep your number for a few years yeah, though, and yeah. then I'll get back to you yeah. <laughs> when I'm not on telly anymore. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. But I was just like, Oh. Do we have a Patreon question? Yeah, we got two, but I've not asked James his toxic trait. Oh, sorry. I got asked to uh, to to be if I'd be thirteen. Yeah, oh, that's a weird one. Isn't it? That's bad. Yeah, you should. That I should, said no. <laughs> that should be um, what's that a TV program where they to use catch a predator? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was yeah. good TV. That get actually. him, <laughs> get him. Yeah, that's quite big on um, Facebook it, Live. Yeah. And that. Didn't yeah. it happen to a comic? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, and an Aldi. Did you see that there was a video of, uh, a few weeks ago or months ago? Maybe now it happened to a fella in Kirby, and he like slit his own throat. Mm. Oh, it's a bit oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You pull up on nice. him, and he pull up on him, and they're like saying, "Oh, you've been fucking yeah. chatting to a fourteen-year-old girl or whatever." And he, he pulls a knife out, and the fellas are like, "Fucking don't stab me or whatever." And he just goes, oh, just like cuts God. his own throat. It's like, how guilty do you want to look? <laughs> like, like, do you get what I mean? You're oh. not a oh yeah, heavy that one in it. All the all the tendons. And yeah, that. I don't yeah. think I don't think he died though. <laughs> but yeah. uh, he, but he yeah. didn't die. Don't think so. Shit, do you have to be cutting your but, own throat? Yeah, but. Cutting your own throat will be well hard. Yeah, because oh, yeah. uh, you'll stop. Especially if yeah, you don't. If I pierce them myself. If you don't hit the main, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. arteries. If you don't hit the main ones, you yeah. could could survive it. You're just bleeding because you've cut yourself open. But you've got the two carot- carotid, yeah, carotid arteries. arteries really. Yeah, they're the ones that if you, they go, you're dead. Yeah, they're There's the ones that you cut off for choking people. Those two, so and then know. in medieval <laughs> times. They'd tell people to aim for like there's one Aye. in your thighs. Yeah, that's the same one, I think. Comes all the way up. Yeah, stab you there, you're done. Bit bit of a weird one, but that's why people in if they go in the bath sometimes cut their thigh. 
bleed out, but you don't feel like you necessarily keep your blood in your bodies. Star Wars is upbeat. When emos are hard, we go. We, yeah. we, we like to talk about the best way to kill yourself sometimes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Can I just ask, <laughs> did that hurt when you pissed them? Yeah, it did. Did you um, do it sober? Yeah. Um, so I just, I literally, I ordered the stuff off eBay and I just drew dots on my face and then I stabbed it in and it's because it's tough. So it, you have to probably push it and then it pops. I did my friend's belly button when we was teenagers. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, we was really drunk. Oh God. Did, did, was it like, did you get it in proper? Yeah, it ended up being quite quite fine, I think. Okay. <laughs> yeah, as long as she's, like, she's not dead yeah. from an infection. But apparently, right. yeah, she's alive. Yeah, yeah. apparently someone told me you can bleed to death. I know there's there's some things around you, maybe the bottom. I don't know about the top, but people getting your tongue pierced yeah. and everything. It's very there's a lot of stuff going on around here that's dangerous to be stabbing yeah, needles I through. I didn't have any guidance as a as a teenager. Just did. Was that a teenager? Yeah, just did what I felt like. Bit feral, weren't you? A little bit feral. Feral. Still am. Feral, yeah. Um, go on. What's your toxic trait, saving grace? Um, laziness. Really? <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm, I won't open the book up fully, but okay. we'll, we'll, I'll read a chapter. Uh, I <laughs> blab. I think sometimes I have a real problem with like, I want people to say what I want to hear if I'm like struggling with stuff. Right. Whereas it's, I know that's not the right thing. I think I need someone to tell me to like, no, you like, like, don't do that. Do this. Stop being a dickhead. Yeah. But then I f- like, I find it difficult to then follow through on that. Mm. Okay. Stuff. Do you not like authority? I do, but it takes a while. Like I, so if I, I to get out of bed, if I was like feeling a bit shitty, I used mm. to watch a lot of celebrities speaking at like university graduations. Like motivational yeah, speeches, and, then I'd, like, and then I'd get out of bed, right, okay. <laughs> and get a shower. It's a good shout, though, to be fair, because you might just stay in bed otherwise. Denzel yeah. Washington's a really good one. Yeah, uh, <laughs> got your favourite <laughs> bookmark, and that Bob Mortimer does a really good one. Yeah. Like, oh, I cool. I can, I can, Lisa can can do a that's well. oh, I've seen that one. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. The guy from the office who plays Andy comes goes to as Andy. That's really good. Uh, There's yeah. loads. I'll get. I'll do a list. But I've yeah that and like people who tell me stuff that like is, for example, if like I've had a really shit day and someone goes, oh yeah, you like, but someone goes, okay, well do this instead. Yeah, I struggle to then like do that. Follow through on that. Taking advice and off I th- people on that. I think just doing some stuff, I can just be like, oh yeah, I'll do that. Later. A bit of procrastinating yeah. type of thing. That's yeah. it. So yeah, 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 I think that's what I really. Mm. I think a lot of people suffer with really that though. Struggle with. I do the same. I go, oh, I've got so much to do. Yeah, and you just sit there and go, I will get to this list eventually. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I know <laughs> the strategies not available. I know there's loads of stuff, to, and then, but I'm kind of just like, Ugh. yeah. I, I've sit always <laughs> been Wallow. like hyper um, productive, like insanely organized, all my life because of I had to be because I was in charge pretty much so now at this age 28 soon to be 29 i've just run out (laughs) and it's all crumbled (laughs) and um i'm just enjoying myself what what i think will be the (laughs) kicker is me and my girlfriend are moving in together this Mm. week that's exciting have you lived with a partner before never know Mm -hmm. i'm very excited actually i can't wait but i don't want to like Oh, I James need to know. That's so cute. Oh, thank <laughs> <you>. <laughs> <laughs> that was also quite patronizing. <laughs> yeah. I need He's to know adorable. that I need to keep up my end of the re- relationship yeah. as well. And so far, the only thing I provide is humor. <laughs> um, but <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. Um, but I know that, like, obviously, like, I, I'm going to have to um, you know, phone up and be like, I'm terrified of phone I'm going to have to phone up mm. the broadband and be like, oh, it's not working. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. like, be. You know, not aggressive, but be assertive. assertive. I've just moved flat this week, and there's a there's a thing that I do that do army bills with one thing. I'll send it. Oh, back. thank you. That would be. But don't tell Lani though, no. so then yeah. it looks like you're it looks like smashing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I but think like, it'll do you the world. A good I think fat. it will. Like moving the, ca- but I've, I'm her father. I love her, her father. Sorry, not her, her dad. He's great. He's lovely, but he's getting like the van to put our bed in and mm. couch and stuff. And I know that I'm obviously I'm gonna have to help. Lift up, and I don't want to like fall out with any of them because I'm weak. And, I'm, like, <laughs> and in my head, I'm like, oh no, I should have gone to the gym like a year in advance to prepare for this day. The moving like, day, yeah, yeah. Like, I can't. All the f- I'm just gonna have to lift bags and stuff and like all 
I mean, you just do what you can, and It'll it's not fine. your fault. Yeah, yeah. but I think it will enable me to then be like, right, I'm in my own. I'm not in my mum and dad's house anymore. I'm in my own house. Yeah, big I step up. Now, Honestly, like, it does wonders to your head yeah. being in your own space. Marie right. Kondo, my own. Yeah, space kind yeah, of. amazing. So, especially you know, like when you get if you get in from work and like Lani's not home or whatever, and you just want to sit and chill. Yeah, there's no one Eat in the pie. house. You can yeah. do what you want. Pie. Type it. It it gives you like a lovely new bit of freedom. For you to start, like just yeah. living out your own way, and even way just type the decorating, like it's an extension. Oh, I can't of wait for you. that. Yeah, I've yeah. just yeah. moved flat this week. Yeah, and been decorating. Lovely. So liberating. I don't yeah. meet that. What's there. your style? Have you got a style? <laughs> well, my, my last, my, the place where I was at last time, and uh, I, I nailed loads of stuff in the wall, and it just looked like fucking B and M had just jizzed <laughs> all over me. <laughs> <laughs> like it was tacky. B and M jizz. Yeah, yeah. I, but my my mum's house is, I don't know. Tacky. Not <laughs> tacky, but she has a lot of working class. It's well, she collects loads of like pots of animals. Okay. And like, so she's it's like pots it's, of animals. Yeah, so it's like there's like a sheet. Like ceramic. Yeah. Just oh, like little okay. sheep. So she get it off Amazon for like ten quid and right. be like a little sheep. Or okay. she's got a coffee table, but it's a um raccoon. Not okay. a raccoon. What's an orange monkey? Orangutan. Orangutan. That sounds she's cute. got yeah, so but it's just like yeah. Just like a lot, and a then lot. there's like a pug hanging from the light. So it's just <laughs> like, well, but sounds like, insane. That that was, pug. Yeah, but that was like my thing. Um, no, sorry. That was like my decor growing up. Is a light plug a thing? A light, I've got a a pug shaped lamp, there and you are. you turn it on and the pug lights up. But I I got that off my mum. But because I was I grew up in a house where my mum's decor was like crazy yeah. so the then I, i've been living out of the house since i was a teenager but i've always decorated wild and yeah. it's just been like i love tat like b&m and all mm. stuff but mm. now i'm about to turn 30 i'm like no i'm, I'm gonna do more modern strip like, back on the strip tat. back yeah. and not have I've, I've i've kept a few things and then because i have like i have random stuff like i have a little frame photo of saran jones Right. That was next to me bed. Right. Um, but now I put it in the living room. Because oh. <laughs> of like... You know, She's been promoted. Yeah, but I just... <laughs> um, I'm trying to make it more grown up. Yeah. Because mine did look like it was decorated by a 15-year-old girl. Yeah. Right. And <laughs> like, so now I want to be more grown mm. up. Mm. But I yeah. love buying okay. curtains, me. That's my favourite thing. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, love a curtain. Expensive though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Expensive. Oh. Go B and M. Go to B and M. I was a front charity shop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do. We got some from B and M. Our bedroom and curtains are from B and M. B and M is amazing. I absolutely it is great. live for it. Yes, it's great. Um, right, I've got a Patreon question here from Claire. Could you ask him if he has any plans to bring back dead drama, please? It was one of my favorite history podcasts. I'd love to hear him on your dead to m- on your dead to me now. He's a proper telly comedian. Yeah. <laughs> Dead to me now that he's a he's another like history one, I think. Right. Um yeah, I had a podcast called Dead Drama that I am gonna do again at some point because my agent go, keeps telling me to do it. Okay. But it's just and I we have to get a producer because I can't do it on my own. Mm. I did it during lockdown. Yeah. But it takes a couple of days to do an episode because I have to do research. Yeah. And then sounds like a good like, idea though. Yeah, like dead so, drama. Like so, it was a, it was basically a gossip program. So every episode, and you can still they're still like available to listen to. But every episode was um, about a different person in history, and I just fucking bitched. About Bitch about them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's okay. funny. And it was, but it was just me on my own. But I am going to bring it back. Yeah, at some point. But I also want to try and do bits. I want like history stuff on TV. Mm. Right. So when I did like Cats Does Countdown, I did a history. Th- Segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm like, yeah. trying like you into history. I fucking live for it. Yeah, what's but your favorite? Per, yeah. I do per people. I like pe- like different right. people okay. have different shit. It's just <laughs> yeah. It's basically just like gossip. What's I, I think if the Tudors, what's one of the best bit of gossips from history? Do you reckon? My favorite is actually quite sad. But this, do you know the story of Lady Jane Grey? Not really. No. no. Oh, that's me. F- that's like it's well, it's harrowing, but it's great. Yeah. Is that um, Lady Jane? Lady that, Jane. Because I've heard of that, but don't yeah. know what it's about. Well, there's a brothel in Manchester called Lady Jane because I used to think it was named after this girl, which would be weird of it. <laughs> but she, um, so, um, 
basically when Edward died, Henry VIII's son, yep. um, before the f- crown went to his sister, it went to the cousin, Lady Jane Grey, right. which it shouldn't have done. So she was forced on the throne b- for like nine days, right. forced to get married to this guy and then go on the throne. She was only there for nine days. And then she, when the queen went on, she got like arrested and beheaded for treason at 17. It's oh, wild. Shit. Oh. But then you hear all yeah. about her, bruv, like her dad and stuff and then her sisters after her death. And it's fucking wild. I mean, it's quite harrowing. Yeah, yeah. Have you been bitching about this poor woman? <laughs> I wasn't bitching about her. I was <laughs> okay. bitching about her dad. Just but like, just, yeah, but yeah. I was bitching about other people. But there's loads of people who just fascinate me. Yeah, it's a yeah. mad. It's just a mad time. Like yeah. when <gasps> when you go back to that that time when, like you say, something happened and they go, "Oh, cut their head off." Yeah, yeah like yeah, seventeen yeah. year old girls think, and like, shit like that. Like we're only talking on about now. this now because you've done some research into it. But that that's just been forgotten like do you know it was such a big yeah. thing yeah. beheading <laughs> and then it's, nobody knows yeah but they were she um but like there's there's loads of different people who i just i'm, like, I'm obsessed with yeah but I, yeah i just love it and but the thing is i love reality tv mm. Mm. but i'm trying to think like if people because history is dead boring. Is, mm. is this boring? Like, no, no, I get dead passionate. I really like history, though. Like, yeah, yeah. But, but I get dead passionate about it because I'm like, if they taught history like more fun, yeah, it like no one would watch the Kardashians if they was like a keeping up with the Tudors, yeah, yeah. because yeah. the Tudors are fucking backstabbing each other and well, killing the well siblings. more drama oh. and that. Yeah, so it's like yeah. no one gives a shit that Courtney slapped Kim. Well, people like, love like Game of Thrones and that because of that type yeah. of shit, yeah, yeah. and all that was. Will be well, based tr- on like yeah, real storylines and shit like that. Like, like there was a guy called William Cecil who was like it was basically like the first fucking PR guy and he was Queen Elizabeth the first mm. like he was like her do you know yeah. like like and like her Alistair Campbell mm. sort yeah. of right. the spin doctor of Elizabeth the first and it just some of the shit that he did back. Oh, like, Rasputin. Yeah. You know about Rasputin? Yeah, stuff like that. It's wild. Yeah, he was he was mad. Yeah, there was a lot of mad shit going on. But like you say, no one really, like, as soon as you hear history, you go, boring. But it's fun. And like, but, but you yeah, don't know I, the real story. I do want to do that podcast again. It's yeah. just, I can't, it's quite hard doing it gigging. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a lot of prep. It was, and it was fun to do during lockdown, but it took me a couple of, like, It'd be good, like, days if to you say, research. like, I had a producer who done the research... Well, that and maybe read it to yeah, you, and then you could yeah. go back and forth on well, that. Might at be a least bit like more help helpful. me with the research yeah, yeah. And, or mm. edit it. Yeah, because I've yeah. got another podcast as well now All that's right. doing well, so I can't really stop yeah. that one. I but I do want to do it again. Yeah, I used to really like um, <laughs> it's just it's like Josh Tong really lovely about like history and like the rich tapestry of, you know, why people get forgotten. And stuff. Yeah, I used to have a program called Deadliest Warrior where <laughs> they would yeah. pit like two. Groups of like, so it'd be like a spot, a group of Spartans, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, samurais, and they'd just like test all the weapons out and stuff, and then mm. they'd have a fight at the end. Which, because, and you, basically, just like an hour of someone beating up a dummy with a right. samurai sword, yeah. yeah. But then there'd be episodes where you'd find yourself cheering for like, so there was one where it was like, um, <laughs> it was like the Nazis, be <laughs> 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 like the IRA, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, who do I support? Yeah, it's a good show, yeah. It's crazy that show. Yeah, I love all that. Like, um, there's a podcast called um, Hardcore History. Dan Carlin, yeah. have you heard uh, any of them? No, there's. I listen to a few different history ones. There's some that I'm like, because I, I type in a person, mm. so I'll type in the name in Spotify and then put podcasts yeah. and see what comes up. Cause so I, I've listened to like a, a it was like six hours or something on Genghis Khan. Yeah, the Mongols. Not Genghis, and all. Is it, yeah, not, Genghis oh, apparently. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but even just hearing some of that mad shit, like yeah. learning about the Mongols and all that, and like yeah. how ruthless they used to be, and, and I shit like that. I genuinely want to do one of them ancestry tests just oh to yeah. see if I've got any Mon- Mongolian. Yeah, because apparently, like, the, like something stupid, like forty percent of Chinese oh. men alive now are, are like a, di- a direct descendant <laughs> oh, really? of Genghis wow. Khan, yeah, just because he used to just like shag, shag so much. Yeah, yeah, it's proper mad. If you, if you would like. Um, 
lad the impaler yeah i've heard i've heard, heard give, bits give, about him and that yeah so a documentary about him you'll live live for it he yeah. did some fucking wild shit he used to like put nice people on spikes and that and yeah. just eat yeah. his tea and Ten while it was happening people didn't were yeah. impaled on deadliest warrior yeah. they yeah. do it yeah. <laughs> they, do, yeah. they get like a big pole yeah and what he used, he used to grease the pole and just leave them on top and let them and he'd slide the, down and yeah that. well he was the inspiration for dracula yeah yeah um because every the but the Apparently, the rumor was that he he didn't drink blood, mm. but he would dip bread in it. Yeah, and right. Oh. Well, that was quite a lot of things. There was Elizabeth Bathory; she was a serial killer who could killed loads of people. Yeah, and so I just felt like I I talked too Go. much about Go this. Go for it. But she um, sh- there's rumors that she used to ba- bath mm. in blood. Yeah, in a victim's blood, um, but like. Well, you would. We don't know if, if they did, but she did. Used to put it on her face, apparently. Yeah. Because yeah. it made them look better, but like, yeah, I don't <laughs> know. The Mongols used to drink like horse blood. I know it's a bit different, but like, trying to keep them yeah. when they had no food, they'd mix horse blood with like milk. Yeah. And drink that and what's stuff. in a black pudding? Blood. Pig's yeah. blood. Yeah. Sausage. Somewhere yeah. in I don't know if it's Thailand. I don't want to say because I'm not sure. But they're, they're one of the dishes that they have is blood soup. Yeah, yeah, there'd be loads of stuff like that. It? I don't know. Probably cow or something cow, like that, innit? Yeah. yeah. If you had to, like, if someone came up to you and was like, Josh, you've got to uh, rewrite the history curriculum for, like, to make it more interesting school. and that. I would, would make like it about in? individuals and not yeah. timeline. Would you Do make I the will, teachers have to wear the costumes? Oh my God, that'd be so Yeah. Fun. <laughs> but I would make it more, like, yeah, you have to. D- learn about the people because it's always for exams like and you have to remember dates and yeah. that's not yeah. who gives a fuck what day yeah. like you do Tudor like, times yeah, and you're like yeah. how much fucking yeah. stuff happened there yeah though? the Tudors is yeah. like that's a couple of years yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I mean yeah this is so yeah. fucking much but like I would make it more individuals and I'd make I'd be like talking about this I talk about the affairs and shit like that mm. I love yeah, it make yeah. it juicy goss yeah, yeah and yeah. stuff like that or like that's the sort of shit I like. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I used to love arguing the other side because I was like, you p- obviously, like, there are real shits in history. Yeah. Mm. But then your history teacher would be like, right, you need to write about this person. But, like, I want you to argue why. Like, for the them, kind of. Yeah. Like, Russell, yeah. Russell kane has got that podcast, Evil Genius, and he br- they talk about a person each episode and you have to figure out if they're evil or a genius. Oh, yeah. right, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Just stuff like that. Yeah. 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 It's cool. I like just. I yeah. As I say, like real real life stories are usually more interesting than in fiction, in it. Yeah. So when you start realizing, like, oh, this shit was actually well, going on, and me dream is a history documentary. That's my dream. So but like, presented I, by you. Yeah, and that'd be great. And I have, and I, I'll be the head writer. Yeah. It'll be written by comedians. I'll be the head writer, and I choose my own team of. So you're proper learning, but in like a really but entertaining it's like way. Fucking yeah, yeah, punchy, yeah. like. Yeah. So each episode is like half an hour, but it's like a thirty minute club set. Yeah. yeah. About a, about one episode about a different person. Oh, that'd, that'd be brilliant. class. That's yeah. what yeah. I would want. Especially if that's like your passion as well. Yeah, like I'd love it. Combining them two. I things. wanted to talk about it on stage a bit more, but it's like, oh god. Mm. It might work better as its own yeah. separate thing. Because I'll have to try it in rugby clubs. I'm like, I've got this new, <laughs> yeah. new TED about Elizabeth the First. Anyone interested? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll go back to be cock then. Douching. Oh, that's um, yeah. So, right, I've got another question off Jane Pickering. Yes. Please ask Josh to talk about his first experience of going on nights out and which clubs and bars he liked going to in particular. Also, please send love and thanks as chatting with cherubs is always fun oh. and new ones always seem to appear on YouTube at times when I need cheering up. Thank oh. you. Oh, nice. oh, that's lovely. Jane's also, I'm so sorry. Our YouTube, we are really struck. We don't know how to put <laughs> stuff up. <laughs> like, we we put this week's episode on Spotify, but I keep ringing Mark. Like, what, is it on YouTube yet? He's like, I, it's not working. No. It's just not downloaded. <laughs> Down, you have to upload. He's not upload. I don't know. Morgan does everything. <laughs> okay. I, I, we, when we agreed, Found the to, problem. when me and Morgan <laughs> agreed to do the podcast, I was like, because me and Morgan have been friends for years. Yeah. Um, one of the things was, was like, Morgan was like, don't worry, Josh, you just turn up because mm. I can't do <laughs> anything. You just bring the personality in there. So I just have to like be there. But um, Morgan does most of the techie. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, but um, 
So that's nice that she listens to that. Mm-hmm. Um, what was the question? Tottenham. Oh, nightclubs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fifth Ave. Fifth Ave. Manchester, yeah, was, did you do it? I, I went before it closed. Yeah, it was yeah. mental. It, it was well better. You probably got a bit shit when you was yeah. there. When you was yeah, there, was James it was there. Chavy <laughs> music? Uh, I think there was... Is that the one with three floors? No. no, that was Factory. Oh, oh no, I'm uh, no. I think it was quite. I went a few months before, like the ro- the roof fell in or something. That's Factory. Oh, is it? oh yeah, no. the roof fell in and Factory. Um, no, but I did go to Fifth once, but yeah, it was quite uh, yeah, Fifth. I I have a I have a bit about this in my, my show that I'm doing at the moment. I lost the top of my left nipple in Fifth Ave. Fucking hell! What's um, going bec- on there? I was at a foam party, yeah, and uh, I was like sliding on the floor on the foam. And then, uh, like, my friends were, like, six foot four proper units, and they were, like, they sandwiched me in between them and was, like, rubbing the bellies <laughs> and throwing foam on my head. And I just remember going, I'm in a car wash. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next day, the top of my left nipple had, like, burnt off. Like it grew back. Because you were sliding on the it floor grew and all back. that? Like yeah, because I had the nickname Wolverine for a little bit. Because <laughs> your nipple <laughs> grew back. Wow. But, like, that happened in fifth Oh, it's like yeah. teeth. About light teeth, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So the fifth, fifth Ave, Fifth Ave is definitely one. Um, cruise one hundred and one in Manchester. Have you ever I never been? Went to so I'm, I'm assuming here, but that sounds like a gay bar. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Cruise one hundred and one. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah. I, me, we, I still go in there sometimes with Hannah Platt. Mm. Me and Hannah absolutely love it. Yeah. It's so fun. Um, so yeah, I used to go there all the time. But that was because that club was open like. Eight. Oh right, okay. So that was like you get out of a club at like two or three, and then you'd be like cruise, mm. <laughs> and then you'd the be there until like I don't know the next Wednesday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <fucking hell. laughs> but um, some, have you been to Eat Me? Where's it? right? So we had a, a guest on Felix Mufti who mm. is in the new series of Sex Education. Yeah. Um, and they, I don't know what they do at this event. I think just they dance or stuff, yeah. just go. But this is the description for the night. Are you ready for this? It's in Liverpool, this one, is it? Yeah. Is it a gay club? I, I, you, you must t- be. You tell me. Um, disgusting, filthy, sleaze. Yes. You'll, it's you'll my f- Edinburgh review. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, the sickles that eat me have rounded up a gangbang's worth of the, of the biggest local sex pots, perverts and kinksters they could find, and they must be stopped. Think of the children... As you as you join us, to tell these deviants we do not accept such behaviour in Liverpool. Um, <laughs> yeah, this event describes itself as having more X X X action than Liberus's greasy doorknob. I don't even know what that means. Um, I don't know what that means. Kinky do people fun. put their ass on greasy doorknobs? Well, Felix was telling us that one person pulled the pride flag out of the bum. That's amazing. Like yeah. full flag. Uh, yeah, yeah. a pole. Not maybe There's not with the end, pole. Yeah, <laughs> not as impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you're a prudy Jude, fancy a spot of slap and tickle, or just like a bit of crumpet, don't worry, darling. There's something for everyone. Tops, bottoms, backs, or sides. You're all guaranteed to have the time of your life on the filthiest day of the year. Grease your elbows, tie back your hair, pull up to the bumper, and get ready for the ride of your life. That sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds like a I'm fun in. night, that, doesn't it? I am in. I'm going to try and go to one. That sounds a bit overwhelming. A <laughs> bit much. <laughs> a bit too much. much. I don't know what me. that means. Does that mean we're all shagging? Is it that what that means? Yeah. It feels like someone's yeah. getting a finger in the yeah, bum yeah. somewhere, <laughs> doesn't it? Like, yeah. Yeah. Bit so of crumpet. That's on the 25th, but they do them every month, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go, Jen? Uh, yeah. I'm up for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gigging the 25th, yeah. but I want to go to the December yeah. one, maybe. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do the, do the 25th December of one. December. I don't wait to spend Christmas. Oh yeah, <laughs> lovely Christmas. <laughs> Pull, yeah. Getting fisted Pulling by Santa. Yeah, yeah. White That'll Christmas. Be fun. Hey. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so what was uh, oh, the bars? Yeah, but Jane, Jane's question was about the bars, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, do you want to do your feature. your feature? Are you ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't okay. know now. We we'll do this feature and then we. We'll, uh, I was like, we'll right, what can I do? What can I do? It's you know. I've taken celebrities, okay, and I've put them in a location. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's called Where Are They Now? Where okay. are they I'm now? I'm taking some of the world's most loved celebrities. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in on them, and you've got to decipher where are they. Where they are. I will zoom out, and right, I will. Okay. I will tell you. I'll do. I'll do three. Okay. Okay. 
Where are they? Will you be able to send me these pictures? Yeah, I'll send, I'll send you them. Send you them afterwards. So I'm going to zoom in now on the first one. It is uh, deceased ghost hunter Derek Akura. Okay. Well, where is he now? Where is he now? I'm KFC. That looks like chicken. Yeah. Oh. It does look like chicken. Where is Derek Akura? <sighs> See, I don't know about chicken. chicken. I feel like it's like deep fried broccoli or something. Bang bang oh, broccoli. Cauliflower. It's green though at the bottom, it's, isn't it? It's so, I'm sorry. It's so food related. So is Derek Akora in a pakora. Dean, you're bang on the money. Oh, it's Derek Akora. Yeah. Right. Catchphrase. In, in do you even know what a pakora is? I do now. Is. Some sort of deep fried broccoli. Uh, moving stuff. on now. It's an Indian dish. Yeah, yeah, but no, but it's not broccoli. No, it's is not it? broccoli. There's something green in That's that. That's why it's amazing it's, that you got that. It's well. It's the more more weird players where I got it from. It wasn't I didn't from know the, that was no, part of me the neither. game. It's neither did now, I. James, yeah. It is on. Are they all weird? But I was uh, I was thinking of catchphrase, so a you know. How many are there? Uh, there's five. Okay. So Derek Akora. I like this game. I really like this. It's well loved British actress and still a black impersonator, Sheridan Smith. <laughs> Where is she now? Is Sheridan she Smith in WH Wyatt, Smith. <laughs> Smith? What? What's her name? They might Sheridan not, Smith. They might not all Smer be. Sheridan Smith inside of a spliff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sheridan <laughs> not Split. Quite. Split. <laughs> Smith. Not quite. Sheridan yeah. Sheridan. Is this food related again? Or? It's not food related. Sheridan it's Sheridan okay. Smith. Smith. Where is she? Um, Sheridan she, Smith. Is she in a lion's mane mushroom? She is not. <laughs> Sheridan uh, Smith. Um, oh, this is Sheridan one, Smith on top of a quiff. Josh. Oh. Hey. Hey. Nailed it. It's, it's Sheridan Swift on Morris's quiff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. Oh, okay. so good. We'll carry on. <laughs> okay, I'll, number three. Yeah, love number it. Three. Uh, we'll carry from a link here. It's uh, her, her, one of her co stars from Two Packets of Crisps and a. Oh, Will Meller. It's Will Meller. But Will where is he? Meller. Um, um, on a Jan and a Teller. <laughs> Will Meller. Does it, does this, do they all rhyme? They, Will Meller on four, top of a fella. <laughs> <laughs> four, four, rhyme, four rhyme, but one doesn't. Just it's this it's one. Will Meller. But where is he? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Will Meller trapped in a cellar. <laughs> um, it looks like he's... Is he in an orange tree? It looks... Ooh, ooh, oranges is a theme. Ooh. Ooh. Well, no, it's Will a loose theme. Mello. In a Will paella. Yo! Oh, you're sick at this, Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, right. I'll, yeah, uh, there's the three, more, there's three more. We'll whisper in them. Right, okay. I this, wish it was well more than... I know, I know. This one's a bit... You'll have to come back next time. Obvious. But it's well-loved producer and hip-hop artist, Dr. Dre. Where is he? In a parking bay. Oh, you're close. In a in a, in a disabled bay. bay. Oh. Sitting you're waiting. You're you're sit. on fire. Oh. Uh, so, what's oh, the Mackey's one though? Saving bay. Like a holding bay. Oh. Waiting bay. Grill um, bay. Oh, it's not the Dre in a grill bay. <laughs> yes. What's well, the grill bay? It's where you got to wait for your scran if you order something. Do you know if you order like a plain burger and you go, oh, I'll go wait in the is in the car park. I don't bay? drive, yeah. so you can't really do oh. that. Oh. The just, just, the car only. just stood there <laughs> with rollerblades. Dr. Dre's gone for grill bay free there. Oh, so nice. That's where they've put him. Um, do you think it. you could do a drive through with your horse and cat? I, we I tried to do it with a trolley once. Didn't let us. Did they not? Someone's done it on a bike. So. Yeah, it's annoying that he didn't let us in the trolley. That is because we, we it's got four wheels. In four just wheels, like a car. was yeah. it like a Tesco trolley? It was a Matalan trolley from the Matalan <laughs> up the road from the from the Mackies. I love Matalan. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> yeah, I, d I think it's quite good, the, especially like the, they do curtains. Oh, do they? Yeah, get to Matalan. But, but the, the, I went to a Matalan in city centre, and that didn't have a home bit. But the one day my dad's had a little Yeah, I've never bit. been in one with a home bit. I mean, that might be a game changer, in my yeah. opinion, of Matt Alan. Well. On with the kids. <laughs> I've got, I've got <laughs> Back three, to the I've show. I've got three more. I'll, I'll whiz through them. Okay. I'm sure the one in a National Old Road had a home bit. I'm sure it did. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. Let us know. National Old Road, Manchester. <laughs> Does Matt Alan have a home bit? It's, um, well, he's he's actually related to royalty, and it's gruff pub landlord in EastEnders, Danny Dyer. Well, where is he? Danny, Danny Dyer. Dyer inside of a dryer. 
Shania. Not quite. Um, Where is Danny? Beloved hero. Dark. It looks dark wherever he is. Many gangster films. Um, um, th- un- under a tire. I don't know. Under the tire. Um, this is a bit fire. difficult. After a fire. Is this a ra- oh, Amy's close. Fire. Fire. Uh, so after a fire. Um, Fumes of the fire. fire. Uh, In a tire fire. No. Um, oh, Dean's. Two. It's yeah, Dean's. Remnants of a fire, Danny Dyer. You're you're in the right area. You're um, in the right fire. area. Fire or tires. It is fire. <laughs> it is fire. I'll give it away. It's nope. Danny Dyer next to a campfire. Oh, oh there you are. Okay. next there you are. to a campfire. There you are. Okay. Oh. Uh, second to last one. It's it's one of my uh, comedic heroes. Absolutely adore him. It's Mike Myers. But where is Mike Myers? <laughs> Myers. Uh. Um. Telephone wires. That's the same. It kind of you can rhyme dial and wire, Maya. Maya. Fire. Is this, is this one rhyme? It does. This one does rhyme. The last one, the, the next one, the final one Mike doesn't. Maya. Um. um, um oh, tap the things. Oh, sorry. The oh, there you go. What is that? It's a what disc. is that? Like a silver disc. Um, Where could he be? Um, Maya. Myers. Myers. Something to do with a fryer. Myers. Inspire. Up, upper spires. Inspires. Fryers. Got any guesses, Josh? And does that look like a CD in the car, not or is that just... I just look a roll of tape. I don't know. Um, um, Mike Myers. Mike Myers. Oh, behave. If I do an impression, that might help. <laughs> it won't. Uh, it. Partridge. Myers. <laughs> Austin Powers. Mm. Uh, can we have a clue? Um, by the Friars. It, um, it is... Uh, ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, Shrek. Somewhere Shrek might go to uh, <laughs> relieve himself. T- Tyler. You're in the right Mike area. Myers. Hand dryer. It's Mike Myers in between two hand dryers. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Close. <laughs> it's, 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 is that a hand dryer uh, that you had a picture of on your phone? No, I googled uh, Dyson Airblades. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> but they're not Dyson Airblades. I love I, that um, you've made all these. Uh, well, one more. So this one so doesn't rhyme. Lady sat next to me on the train, and I was just photoshopping like. <laughs> so what are you doing here? Like, what is? What is <laughs> I love the game, though. It's great. Okay, it's um, it doesn't rhyme, but it's uh, former. Health secretary and I'm a celebrity contestant, Matt Hancock. Ooh. But where is he? Um, outside the Dunelm. He's outside somewhere. Outside, outside on Bargain. He's outside somewhere. Outside He's Peacocks. Three. There's a bit of story to this one. Bit, I've added a bit more light, a bit more character once it's revealed. Okay. Um, where could he be? Uh, TK Maxx. Home base. Oh. Um, it's, it's, home it's, base is a shout. He's, he's outside somewhere. B and Q. Ikea? I, um, Curry's. You think maybe towards the, ha- at home. the hand dryers. Curry's. Um, uh, Miss Self, Miss Selfridges. <laughs> is that still a thing? Tammy girl. <laughs> um, more towards uh, services. Costco. Some sort of services. services. It's Matt Hancock, and he's outside. Uh, Charnock Richardson. <laughs> 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 Waiting for his mum to pick him up. <laughs> are you still living, Charnock Richardson? There he is. It's and there we go. That is. Well. Where are they now? I like that. Where are they, they are now? Well so done. Well Fantastic. That was great. That was a great little feature, that, James. Ooh, thank, thank you. James. So we look You're forward welcome. to some more of them next time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're going to be <laughs> see how many you can come up with for the next one. <laughs> 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 I enjoyed that. It was fun. Make them all rhyme. I think I'm going to do it. Yeah. Rhyme and it makes it a bit easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Matt Hancock at Channel Richard. <laughs> I know. I just thought <laughs> I'd <chuck, laughs> I was going to whack him in like Hull or somewhere. Because there was just a... A sliding <laughs> door that said "Welcome" in the back. Yeah, yeah. I like think if if you don't rhyme, it'll have to be like at the Eiffel Tower. Oh, uh, well, okay, you know, like yeah, a, yeah, a, a, yeah. a historic landmark. Yeah. So Matt you sort of Hancock at the Albert Dock, Birkenstock or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Albert Dock. Al- yeah, 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 perfect. Um, I love that. But yeah, it was great. great. Welcome, They're fun. Appreciate Josh, that one. Hello. Thanks so much for coming. Oh, thank you Being for having me. Um, where can people find you online and that? Instagram. Instagram. Joshy oh. Jones 92. Sorry, we haven't asked our main question. What? What's your addiction? What's your addiction? Pies, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> um, uh, shop shoes, clothes. Shoes. Mm, okay. Clothes shopping. I buy a, 
I buy, I get paid monthly, and I, I buy um, a new pair of trainers every payday. Oh, that's really? Great. Um, Love that. So um, you have 52 pairs of shoes a year? No, I got rid of some. Oh, not some no, sorry, this 12. is only... <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, yeah, sorry. I know, cut, that would be a week. <laughs> but I... Um, not cut enough. I, um, I, I cut down, because I moved flat this week. I cut, I got rid of loads of trainers. I went from 40 to... Um, I have 27 now. That okay. was the least I could get it down. Yeah, so. I like, I, I'm I'm all for that. Loads mean, of them are not super expensive, but that's what I spend my money on. Yeah, yeah. the most. Yeah. I see that one. I get yeah. it. Oh, yeah, and jumpers and oh. jumpers and tri- that's, got, I'm on it. I've got a lot of jumpers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't good. like the summer just because I don't have the clock the. The, I've got the wardrobe the for, for it. the winter. Yeah. I love so the have I. for clothes. I've got loads of sick jumpers that I love. Coats. And then as soon as I get to the summer, I'm like, I can't wear any of these. Yeah. Like, yeah. All, I don't like. And it's annoying because this, I don't know if I to wear this on stage tonight. I've got another two jumpers in my bag. <laughs> oh, just in case. Choose from one of them. Yeah. But I, um, like, if you're on stage for an hour as well, you need a thin jumper in. I like these thin ones because yeah, yeah. you can do an hour in this. Yeah. Mm. I really like that jumper. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, so we're jo- Joshy Jones ninety two. Yeah, that's my Instagram. Instagram. I'm on Twitter, but I don't really use yeah. it because I'm dyslexic. Your podcast is on Spotify and maybe on YouTube. Yeah, it's on <laughs> YouTube, but most people just do Spotify. Yeah. I think chatting yeah. with cherubs, chatting with cherubs, and um, also the old the old one that you can find the history one that was called, called Dead Drama. Dead Drama. Dead Drama. Yeah. So go um, check them out as well. Yeah. Um, we're looking forward to more dead drama. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna start. But yeah. uh, that is something that I said I'm gonna do in the in the new year. Yeah, going on it. That'd be class. Yeah. Sounds yeah. like it'll be boss. Um, but nice one for coming on, man. I appreciate oh, it. So much. Good luck with your show tonight, um, yes. James. Gigs. Anything? Anything? You can see me. T- well, you won't be able to see me tonight because I don't know when this is gonna go out. No. Uh, James Allen, 27. You can see a clip of me at the minute eating. Yeah. Crickets out of. Bars on the hands. live show yeah. on our Patreon. Um, there's eight live shows on there now. Dean, where can they see us? Oh. You can see us weekly. Metro as of the 22nd of November. This will be well out by then. Yes. Yeah, Mile so High Club Comedy. Hosted on gig. We've got lineups that are stacked. Yeah. Great lineups. First ah. one sold out. Yeah. Get tickets for the next one. Where are you yeah. doing it? Metro Cola, um, just by the bombed out church in Liverpool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Every week. You'll have to Tuesdays. grace us with your presence yeah. at yeah. some point. Well, We're well doing well whips it. as well if you want to ever do one. I'll come and do a work one. in yeah, progress next year. Great. Have yeah. well, a room. 50, Old 50 odd. Oh, it's great. Nice. Lovely. It's cool as well. It's, it's really cool nice, yeah. Area. If you so, uh, get a ticket to that, come and see us. Come down, yeah. We'll be there. Yes. Either all of us will be there every week or one of us because other ones are gigging and that. But I'm missing like two or three. And after that, every Tuesday, I'm going to be there. Like, Is so, it uh, in, like new material? Yeah, and you want, oh, yeah. Oh, that's uh, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little really bucket nice. split one. But inspired yeah. by jokes at the Oaks yeah, in Manchester. Yeah, new material. Yeah. yeah, what Dan's doing. Yeah. 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 There's a great gig that if you're in Manchester, go check that out as well. Mm-hmm. There's loads of good gigs in Manchester. There's yeah. Um, fucking so. Laffy Ender and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, I feel like there's well Comedy more old, old, like good new oh, material nights than when we started. Remember the Tiger yeah. Lounge? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The one. Did you ever do Tiger Lounge? No, no. It was before me, yeah. I think. Doesn't sound good. <laughs> I'll tell that one later. Shout out to everyone. Uh, but yeah, Metro Cola uh, every Tuesday, uh, Hot Water every Monday, live shows every month. We've got eight um, live shows on Patreon now, and yeah. they get increasingly more chaotic, don't they? Yeah, the fun. Um, <laughs> There's loads of stuff on Patreon as well, specials. Yeah, and loads of specials on Patreon. We've got a VR special coming out uh, in December, which yeah. is hilarious. Ishan joined us for yeah. that one. And yeah, yeah, we're always doing stuff. Send to pitch and support us because like three pound. You get a, you get seven it. days early access as well for the public episodes. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. No right. One. That's Great. all right, that, isn't it? Yeah. Flying. Uh, but yeah, everyone, thanks for coming down. I hope is ever, everyone has a nice day. Good luck with your show. Good luck with your show as well. You got gig as well. And uh, love you. We're getting off. Bye. Love you. Bye. Nice Bye. one, everyone. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. It started in Liverpool, England. A sound, a feeling, an emotion. It started in Liverpool, England and swept up the youth of the world.